All right, welcome back to Clash of Cultures. We are back with another video. Um, in, in today's video, we're going to rank our NBA top 25 players. Um, my name is Steven. I'm here with my dad again. And as you guys can see, we have our first inaugural guest on the show, Edgar. Um, how are you doing today, Edgar? I'm doing pretty good, bro. I mean, I've been waiting for this episode. If I'm going to be honest with you, when you told me about it, I got excited, man. So I'm ready. Yeah, man, Edgar. you got that old old man Hispanic name, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Edgar, Edgar, Edgar is not a big college football fan, um, but he's been watching all of our episodes, giving his input. I mean, he has been bugging me about doing this list. Um, yes, so this, this one is going to be a good one. And we do yeah, have yeah. an NFL top 25 players coming out pretty soon. I'm with For another sure. special guest. Um, but to kind of kick off this week or this episode, um, instead of jumping right into number 25, uh, Dad, go ahead and give your first honorable mention on who you thought could have been on this list, but you did not put on the list. All right. So I'm not going to do this in any any particular order. Um, but uh, the first person that I have uh, that I did not put on the list um, is Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards. So he did not make my list, uh, but he is an honorable mention. Obviously a young up and comer. Uh, he's a hooper. Um, somebody to really look out for in the future. Uh, but yeah, he didn't make my list this time. Edgar, do you have any thoughts on Anthony Edwards? I mean, I was looking at him as well, man, um, to add him to the list because he just had a really good year, I'll admit, man. Um, he was most of the time the offense for the Timberwolves, but very great up-and-coming player, man, and that's a good place for him for right now. But I think yeah. in the future, you know, he'll he'll get there. Yeah, so, sure. so he's not in your top 25? No, he is not. And he's not on your honorable mentions? He is not. Okay. Oh. Um, okay. Okay. Um, so he's not on my honorable mentions either. He's not in my top 25, but he he definitely could be in that uh in that category. Um, I think he's gonna definitely be in the top 25 um in the next two to three years. Um yeah, sure. I mean, arguably he could be number number 25 now. He I mean he's your honorable definitely, mention. So definitely. He, he obviously has an argument to be in the top 25. Um, mm -hmm. but moving on to Edgar, who is your first honorable mention? My first honorable mention, man, is DeJounte Murray. You know I'm a big fan of this guy. Um, he got traded to Atlanta. Um, mm -hmm. obviously Trey Young needs a back, uh, backcourt partner that can play some defense. So, um, he had a really good year, man. First time all-star just excited for him. Um, and yeah, man, have him right at the honorable mention almost made it, but I looked at him and I'm like, okay, man, I mean, you're there, but I don't think you're top 25 just yet, man. I, yeah. I so, think, so my, okay, go ahead, my, go ahead. my concern with him was just, I, I want to see what he does this year, right? I don't know if his stats last year were empty uh, because he was yes. on a bad Spurs team. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I love his game. Um, I really want to see what he does with Trey, uh, especially on a team that at least should compete. I think that that Spurs team last year, uh, like I said, I, I just hope it wins an empty stats. He does look like a mm -hmm. hooper. So, yeah, I didn't have him on my honorable mention, but definitely a hooper. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this is – I'm going to be honest. This is a guy I didn't even think about. Um, he didn't even, I'm not gonna say he didn't cross my mind. Well, actually, yeah, he didn't cross my mind. Um, <laughs> um, it's not a guy that I thought about here. Um, in my honorable mentions, I, I have, I have a guy who you guys are probably going to raise your eyebrows at. Um, my first honorable mention, he gets a lot of, a lot of negative, uh, attachment towards his name, um, because of his, his past situation. Um, but I think what he does on the defensive end of the basketball court outweighs any sort of negative offensive uh okay. ability he I think has I know where you're going i have rudy gobert as an honorable yeah. mention oh um okay i i like his defense i think him going to minnesota puts them as 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 a western conference finals type team i don't think they can go to the finals but i think they can compete with anybody in the western conference um and now cat can play the four he doesn't have to play the five anymore um and he doesn't have to bang with Jokic, uh Aiton, any of the of the bigger uh, oh, MB, Embiid, um, yeah, yeah, any of the bigger centers in the NBA, he can just worry about offense. Um, obviously, there's still going to be stints where they're both not on the floor at the same time, so he's going to be playing the five sometimes. Um, but I like that pickup from them, and I think they got they got significantly better by adding him. He almost made my top twenty five, um, but I, I put him at I put him at an honorable mention. Did you have him, Edgar? I actually did have him in my top twenty five. Okay. So he, he's not in my top 25 or an honorable mention, but I do got to give credit to what he does, like you said, on the defensive end, right? Uh, I think his ability to protect the rim really changes the whole landscape of a team. Um, I think you saw it in Utah, um, and I think over time you're going to see it in Minnesota. Um, I think, yeah, his ability to defend the rim 
Uh, it makes everybody else a better defender because I can play on the perimeter a little bit harder. I can take a couple, I can take more risks uh, because I know I have a goalie back there really just kind of protecting the goal. For sure. All righty. So moving on. So by the way, um, everybody, we have four honorable mentions. We are yep. five minutes into the video. This is going to be a long video, yeah, yeah, um, but yeah, I, sure. I hope you guys can stick with it. It's going to be a good one, man. And um, we've been looking forward to it. So moving on to our next honorable mention. Uh, go ahead, dad. Who's your next honorable mention? Uh, so this one hurts uh, because I'm a Cavs fan. If you guys Darius didn't Garland. know that is yeah. Darius Garland. Um, I just, I couldn't, when I looked at my top 25, uh, there was just nobody I could move out to put him in. Uh, again, uh, just like I said, with Ant, um, I think over time, give it a couple years, uh, he may be somebody who's clearly in the top 25, uh, but I don't have him there yet. Okay. Um, let me really quick, Edgar. Do, Edgar, do you have Darius Garland in your top 25? I do not, bro. Okay. I don't have him in my top 25 either. It's another he situation. Was, I, I will say he was even in my thoughts for honorable mention. Um, Same. But I think – you know, he's going to have a great future. He's still a very young point guard, man, but yeah. he's exciting to watch. I'll give you that. He's very exciting to watch. I was very close to putting him in uh, my top 25. And then when I started making my honorable mentions, I started realizing, yo, there's a lot of good players. Yes. In the NBA. Yeah. Yes. So if there it was like a top 30, he'd probably be in that list. But mm -hmm. it, it was just really hard with with my last uh, my last couple of spots as well as my honorable mentions. So, Edgar, who is your next honorable mention? My next honorable mention um, – is another Seattle guy. Um, Zach Levine is one of my honorable mentions. Um, he that's actually took, really quick. That's, that's, yeah, actually, that's funny. That's one of my uh, honorable mentions as well. Yeah. So, so um, uh, Stephen was talking about going to four before, mm -hmm. and that's why because we both have Zach Levine Added. in our honorable mention. But go ahead, Edgar. Um, sorry to catch you off. Go ahead. He kind of took a step back this season. Um, obviously, with you know Demar being there and um, Demar being, I would say the number one option. He kind of took a step back because I would say the previous years in Chicago, he was the number one option, um, and then he got injured as well, so he really wasn't playing at 100. percent But you know, he still put up some pretty good numbers throughout the season. Um, obviously, um, into this season, I think he just played his first game a few days ago. So um, hopefully, he can get back to you know that All Star level and kind of being co number one option with Demar. I know it's kind of hard when you have two guys, but he's someone that I just enjoy watching, man. Definitely. So this, I mean, this kind of killed a couple of birds with one stone, yeah. obviously <laughs> about all having Zach Levine. Um, but as a Bulls fan, um, I, I do like Zach Levine here. Um, but I, as a Bulls fan, I don't think we can compete very far in the playoffs with, without him being the number one guy. Um, but I, I mean, I do, I do like Zach Levine. Um, and I do like DeMar, but I, I do think we're still a, a few steps away. Obviously, we don't have Lonzo Ball back yet. Um, Caruso was hurt a lot of the year. Um, but it, it's kind of just tough to tell right now. But that's why I do have Zach here. I couldn't put him above anybody in my top 25. But I have him as an honorable mention. Yeah, he's a hooper. Um, I think we all know Zach as the guy from the dunk contest. Uh, but he's actually mm -hmm. showed a very impressive offensive game. A great shooter. Obviously, still ridiculously athletic. Um you know, I, I, I want to I want to see him take that next step, right, uh, to a true superstar, to a true, hey, last shot type of guy. Maybe he doesn't do it with DeRozan there. Maybe he does. But I think for him to really be on my list uh, where I think his athleticism and ability uh, would lead him to be, I, I'd need to see him um, as a true number one, give me the ball, get out of the way kind of guy. Okay. I mean, and I, I would kind of – I would add in there um, – as you were saying, he was, you know, we do know him as a dunker. You know, he put on a great show a few years ago at the dunk contest. But yeah, sure. I think um, in Minnesota, you kind of saw a glimpse of him taking more initiative in the offense. And when he went to Chicago, it was kind of his first shot of being the quote-unquote guy. Um, and obviously, he's been showing it. And, you know, there's – now you look at him and he might dunk on you. He might shoot. He might pull up. So – He's just really expanded his offensive game defensively. There's some work to get done, um, and hopefully, you know, he can get there because, man, there's a lot of good two-ways, and he would – with the athleticism he has, man, imagine him going up for a chase down block. That would be crazy. Yeah, definitely. Moving on to what is now my third honorable mention because we all had uh, Zach Levine. Zach, yeah, because um, well, yeah, I've done three. So, so you've already done three? Yeah, because uh, I had Edwards – Garland and, Edward. and Levine. Okay, so I've only done two. Edgar, you did two or three? Two rounds. Okay, so my third – some people may have this guy in their top 25. Um, I may be snubbing him here, but I have Bradley Beal. Um, I have him in my top 25. 
Okay. I don't have him on t- in my top 25. Do you have him in your honorable mentions, Edgar? I do not. Okay. Um, that's a snub there. But I, I, I'm just <laughs> going to say it. Go, go for but it. the reason why I have him here is because I think that one season that he had um, when he led the league in scoring, I want to say it was, it was like Russ. Yeah, years Russ, ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that season really catapulted him up into this conversation. Um, and I think I need to see more from him. Um, to put him in the top 25, but I do think he is comparable to Zach Levine. Um, I think they're very comparable as far as um, ceiling. Um, I don't, I mean, could Bradley Bill be a, could Bradley Bill or Zach Levine be a number one guy in a championship team? No, I don't think so. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's why I kind of have him in the same yeah. breath. I mean, for me, the reason I didn't have him, um, he got injured. I think he only played maybe like 31 games. Um but he can definitely be a top 25 uh, player in the league. I think when he's healthy, he's maybe even a top five shooting guard. I can probably say that about him. Again, and, and, and let me say this. I can understand uh, both of your sentiments. Again, kind of, uh, as I mentioned with Murray, my concern with Bill, uh, I do have him in my top 25, let me say. But my concern with him is empty stats, right? Uh, he played on a bad Washington team when he led the league in scoring. Um, but – the, the, the young man seems to be box office. Um, he seems to be able to score in, in many different fa- facets. Uh, great shooter, can get to the basket. Uh, like I said, when he's healthy and, and availability is the number one ability, um, when he's healthy, though, uh, I, think, I, I think he's an alpha. Uh, again, do I think he can lead a team? I think he would need a lot around him. But I think he's a true number one option, especially uh, with Washington. For sure. Okay, so – Dad, go ahead and name your number four honorable mention, your fourth honorable mention. All right, my last one. I don't know if you guys have have him or where you have him, but my fourth honorable mention is uh, LaMelo um, Ball. Um, again, a guy who gave you 20, like, what, almost 27 and 7. Um, you know, young guy. I, I think he's still up and coming. So I'm giving That's him a very good pick. Uh, I'm giving him some room, right, uh, because I think uh, when he puts it together, uh, the ability to handle the ball – uh, has a great basketball IQ, um, great passer, tall, great size. Um, and then certain nights he, he can really shoot that thing. Um, so again, still young, uh, but anybody giving you 27 and seven, I think is legit. I, I don't think he's there yet. I don't have him in my top 25, but I do have him as an honorable mention. Edgar, go ahead and with your number three guy, right? Yeah, my number three, um, this guy was actually an all NBA player this past year. Yeah, so um, DeMar DeRozan is my next honorable mention. (laughs) I will leave right now, bro. (laughs) That's crazy. I'm I'm being serious, bro. I want to hear this. So, obviously, you know, DeMar, like I said, man, he was all NBA third team. MVP candidate. At the beginning of the year. um, You know, and throughout the season, man. crazy. Throughout the season, um. He damn near led the Bulls to the number one seed up until the All-Star break. Then, obviously, injuries happened. Um, And then he kind of fell off a little bit. I'm not saying he dramatically fell off, but he fell off. Um, But that's who I have as my honorable mention. Um, And don't – I just – I looked at my – I had him in the top 25. And then – I'm I'm a little shocked. He's healthily in my top 25. (laughs) And then I looked at it again, and I'm like – yeah, he's nah. I, I I can't, bro. He's in your top twenty-five, right, Dad? He's in my top twenty-five. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. like probably my craziest take. Okay, Edgar, go ahead. So my dad did four already. We both did three. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and name my fourth, and then Edgar, you'll finish it off with your fourth. For sure. So my number four, who I'm surprised that no one named him. Um, I mean, I think I'm taking in. I mean, obviously he was injured. Um, but if I if I think he's gonna bounce back, he's gonna have a great season. Um, I'm taking Jamal Murray as an honorable mention. Um, I think he's a great pick. Um, if you're if you're talking about a guy who's shown that he can do it, I mean, in the bubble, he was a baller. Um, and I think he's going to be – I think the Nuggets are going to be a number one seed this year in the West um, with him and Michael Porter Jr. coming back. And I think he's he's one of the better point guards in the league when you're not talking about, I mean, Steph Assist, and – I would say. Yes, yeah, Steph and oh. all of them. Um, when you're not talking about elite MVP candidates, I think he's one of the better point guards. He's definitely an above-average point guard. Um, so I think if you're, throwing, if you're throwing Gobert – um, Levine, Beal, Ball in this conversation. He has to be in the conversation now. Injuries has kept him out. Um, but, I, I mean, 
barring another injury, if he stays healthy, I think he's definitely could crack the top 25 eventually in his career. I like Jamal. I don't have – he was really, as I as we expanded our honorable mentions to four, uh, LaMelo was my last one in. He was the next person I was looking at. So, yeah. For sure, Edgar. Who is your, uh, your number four? I mean, for me, man, my number four was my guy. You know, I'm an OKC guy. Um, okay. I got to go with Shea. Okay. I was very, um, I was very impressed with him over the, um, over the last year. He was, he's been the our guy for the previous two years when Chris Paul left. Obviously, um, shooting splits did go down a lot this year, but we did have him take a lot more shots. But, uh, man, when he's healthy, he's on one. He, honestly, man, he has he has a pretty good bag as well. I've seen this dude go into the post and fake centers out and go up and finish, and I'm just like, this boy is gonna be a problem. Obviously. Our team is very young. Um, we don't have a lot of guys that have been there before. Um, but it's exciting to watch him play, man. I love watching this guy play. And I think he'll be a top 25 at some point in his career. Hopefully this year. That's take a good that step to an all-star. But that's, we'll see. That's, a good, that's definitely a good I respect pick. that one. Yeah, I respect that. So that is our honorable mentions. 15 minutes in, guys. Um, <laughs> that is and listen, we're just, we're just going. Well, we're just going. All right. So what we'll do. We'll do like a rotation here. So we'll start off with number 25. I'll go first with number 25. And then my dad will do number 24 first. Edgar will do number 23 first. So we just got to kind of keep keep yeah, remembering yeah. who went, whatever, um, just to kind of keep it fresh. But my number 25 um, best player in the NBA as of right now is Bam Adebayo. So I – don't make that face. I don't know. No, 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 no. So it's what? funny because he is my number 25. Okay. Okay, oh, Edgar, Edgar, no. don't, Edgar, don't don't say anything. No, no, no. So, go ahead. I have him. I have him here. I wasn't a believer in him. I'm. I'm still. I mean, I could have. I. I was substituting him and Rudy Gobert heavy when I made this list. Um, but the reason why I have him here is just because he he did make a deep playoff run. Um, with the Heat. Um, and I'm I'm pretty sure he played decent in the finals that year. Um, and as as well as the entire playoff run. Um, he averaged 19 and 10 last season. He's obviously not the number one option on that team. They have a lot of scores. They got Hero. They have Butler. Um, they, they obviously have uh, Lowry. He was in and out the lineup. Um, but I think I think number 25 for him is good. He's a versatile big. He can play the four. He can really play the five. A lot of switchability. Um, so that's why I have him at number 25. Edgar, before you go, um, Dad, you did have him at yeah, number 25 as well. I, so at, I have him at 25. Again, I, 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 I like players uh, that can give it to you on both ends, right? I don't think he has all us. Oh, <laughs> All right, that's another one. That's another one. <laughs> oh, we, we, we did not uh, learn this in the Jackson home. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I, you know, I don't think he's somebody uh, you draw a place for. Um, he gets a lot of his, his buckets junk-wise. Um, but but I love the hustle, right? I, I love the heart, the determination. He plays D. He come, He brings it every day. Um and yeah, I mean, he's still giving you about 20 points. Um, so uh, like I said, but obviously with him, just like we talked about with Rudy Gobert, uh, what we're mostly talking about is what he gives you on the defensive end. Um, and and I love the energy and a young guy who could who could who could play. Edgar, who is your number 25? My number 25 man is the point god himself, uh Chris Paul. Okay. Um, obviously he led, he helped lead the Suns to obviously a number one seed in the West. And obviously we know the West is pretty stacked. Um, he led the league in assists this past year. And I think he's what, like 36, 37. Um, obviously he's not the Chris Paul he once was, but you know, to still be able to contribute at the age that he is, um, I think he's done a great job this, so far this year. He hasn't, been on anything if i'm gonna be honest with you in the few games i've watched um but that's who i had a uh, number 25 man coming into the year and obviously if we talk resume it speaks for itself but i kind of took the last few years into this obviously he's still a great point guard man he's still probably one of the best playmakers but obviously we'll just see how this season goes for him as well though yeah uh, I, I am um i have grown into a chris paul non-believer um, because you mentioned resume, right? But but the mm -hmm. resume is concerning. Um, he he, obviously at the end of the day, basketball IQ and and the ability to get people. To, but he doesn't seem to do it when it matters most on the big stage in playoff series. Um, 
And that's my concern with him. And that's mm -hmm. why when we look at this resume, and again, Chris Paul is one of those one of those people you have to line up against the greats, which is kudos to him. Um, but I don't think he stacks favorably when we're talking Magic, when we're talking Steph, when we're talking Isaiah, when we're talking some of these great Jason Kidd. Um, I, I don't think he matches up because at the end of the day, we got to look at what he's done in the playoffs, his inability to win. And we're talking about his inability to win in series and situations where he's had great talent around him. I can see that. Um, I can see it too. Moving on to number 24. This is where it's going to get a little interesting. Who do you have here at number 24, Dad? I have Pascal Siakam. Um, and I think he's on his way up. Um, I really like that young man's game. Um, 24 to me, honestly, might be a little bit low. Uh, because Pascal did not make my list. Did he make your list, Edgar? Yes, he made my okay. list. Yeah, yeah. I think I may be a little low on him. Um, this is a guy giving you giving you 20 plus, um, can shoot the ball, um, gives it to you on the defensive end. Um, so I and I think he's now he's been in the league for a little bit, but I think he's still on his on his way up. I think he's slept on kind of being in Toronto. Um, I, I think he doesn't really get the press in the pub that maybe his game uh, uh should and deserves uh, I got him at 24th and again I think I actually kind of got him lower than I should but that's where I have Edgar who did you have at number 24 at number 24 I actually had Rudy Gobert okay um, I know he was honorable mention for you guys um but for me man I obviously in Utah he was the defense because there was no perimeter defense at all um and obviously he helped lead that team to a Western Conference Finals appearance um and I mean, other than that, man, he, this guy's a walking double double defensive player of the year. I mean, he can basically hold the paint down. And now that he's in, obviously, in Minnesota, like you guys were saying, um, him and Cat are going to be, people are saying they're going to be the Twin Towers, but we'll see about that. Um, but I mean, that's who I have at 24, man. For sure. Um, my 24, I'm assuming you guys are going to have him a lot higher on your on your rankings. The reason why I have this guy here um, is because he hasn't shown me that he's higher than this. Uh, I have Anthony Davis at 24. Um, he has been nonstop hurt. Now, if we're talking about his talent level, sure, he could be a top 10 player in the NBA. I think I've had Anthony Davis top 10. Okay, so if that's the case, are we just going off of his talent? Because you have, like, I'm sure you just said maybe five minutes ago, the best ability is availability. Uh, that's a good point. That's a good point. And he is never, he might be, if you're talking about, he's a superstar caliber player out of everybody on this list that we're about to name, he gets hurt more than anybody on this list. That's and it might not, it might that's not be an true. ACL. It might not be an Achilles, but he might fall down the stairs and can't play for four games. <laughs> like that bugs me when you have LeBron in year 20, who has to carry the load when arguably you have one of the best offensive players in the league behind KD at his size, he can do everything. You have to be available for your team. And like a guy coming up in my list, you can be one of the best players in the league talent-wise, but if you're not on the court able to do it, I can't put you higher than than some of these guys that are that are that are doing it on a consistent basis. I'd rather take somebody who plays 80 games who averages 20 points than take somebody who plays 30 games and averages 30 points. That's just saying. that's on me. So I, if I, if I if, exactly so like my point is I'd rather of course, Anthony Davis might be better than 15 more of these guys on this list on his best day, but you're not getting Anthony Davis on his best day every day. So that's Very why true. I have him at number 24. We may do this list at the end of the season. He may be number two, but at the end of the day, right now, based off of what I've seen the last two seasons of him in a Lakers uniform, I cannot put him higher than this above other people on this list. Okay. I respect that. Okay. Who do you, ha who do you have at number 24, dad? Oh, wait, I, uh, I, I did 24. You were so the last one. Edgar, so who do you have at 23? At 23, man, I have a cash money Chris, Chris Middleton. Okay. Um, I think, you know, man, he, he did is, not make my list. He did not oh, make really? mine. Um, obviously, I think he is a great Robin to obviously Giannis, man. You know, this guy, um, during the playoffs when they were making that championship run, man, he was making a lot of tough buckets. He came in and he was the guy because obviously Giannis, he's not as great as a shooter, but, you know, Chris was always there, man. 
Um, it sucks to see that he got injured in the um, – I think he got injured in the first round. Yeah. And Because obviously I think this team could have, you know, I think they could have honestly made it to the finals if he was there. They could have State, honestly. Yeah. I exactly they could have definitely beat Boston. Um, it probably would have been seven, but I think they could have beat him. But that's who I have, man. Um, obviously, I hope he comes back this season because I want to see another deep run for this team. Because obviously, he's getting older, Drew Holiday's getting older. Um, so hopefully, man, he just comes back and he's able to prove that he is a top 25 player. All right, yeah, so I have no problem with Chris. I think I think ahead. his value really, really was shown um, last year in the playoffs when when uh, Milwaukee didn't have him. You know, so mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I think he's a hooper. Yeah, he didn't make my list. Um, he didn't make mine. He was another one of the guys, just like uh, uh, who are we talking about? Um, that I said that I thought about, but I I couldn't put him Garland? in Garland. Garland. He was mm-hmm. just like Garland. Yeah. Um, so that was one of the guys that was on there. My number twenty three. We'll keep it going uh, clockwise. Is Jalen Brown? Um, oh my goodness! Whoa! I, I, I have Jalen <laughs> Brown. At, I have Jalen Brown at twenty three. Um, reason being, I don't think without Tatum, I don't know how good Boston is. Um, I think he's. Just, I'm not gonna say he's, he's better than Chris Middleton is, um, but I think he's in the same situation where Tatum gets so much of the attention um, that he's gonna. He's never gonna. So when you game plan for the Celtics, he's never gonna be the number one guy you're game planning for. Um, he's ne- kind of like I put it into into context with kind of wide receivers. If you have Cooper Cup on one side of the field and you're doubling him, you're the other guy's going to get a lot more open looks. Um, just playing alongside Tatum, alongside guys like LeBron, Giannis, you're going to get open looks, which is obviously going to make you look better. Now, I do think he's a very good basketball player, um, but I I think the people I have above him, they were all tick for tack between 23 and 17. Um, anybody could have kind of been moved around there. Um, but I have him at 23 just because he is the second option on his team. Um, there are a few other second options on here as well, but I think the people above him have shown more to me or the potential in them is a little bit more than Jalen. I think Jalen Brown has peaked. I think this is his peak. Um, the Jalen Brown you see is a Jalen Brown you're going to get. Um, I don't yeah. think you throw Jalen Brown on another team, he's going to produce another four or five points a game. I don't think – I mean, I, I just don't see it happening. Um by all means, if he does it, then I'm wrong. That's fine. I, I'm not a Jalen Brown hater by any means. All these guys on this list are really good. Um, but this is where I would have Jalen Brown at 23. Yeah, I, I made the wild noise, but I actually don't have him that much up. Um, I do have him in my top 20, but uh, yeah, yeah, kind of for the same reasons. Edgar, what is your thoughts on Jalen Brown? I'm assuming I mean, he's I, above. I'm assuming he's yes. above because of the way you looked at me crazy. Yeah, I, I do have him a little bit higher. Um, and obviously, I'll, I'll get into it when it comes up. But. For sure. Okay, moving on to number 22. Dad, who's your number 22? I didn't name my 23. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, so my 23, at 23 is somebody that I think you guys probably have higher, um, but I have at 23, Carl Anthony Towns. Um, now, I like his game. Uh, obviously, a big man that can shoot, uh, but I, I don't always like what he brings, right? I, I don't like uh, his, his hesitancy to play and defend the post. Um, sometimes. Um, and then I don't like a guy this tall uh, relying that much on, on shooting, right? Uh, you know, and maybe this is just my old school mindset, uh, but I'd like to see him get more buckets in the post versus relying. Now, again, I think he has amazing ability. I think, again, he's a top 25 player. T- to me, that means something. Uh, I'm sure you guys have him higher, but I got him at 23. So, Edgar, did you say you're 23 yet? Yeah, I started it. Okay, so I'm going to kind of shake things up. I know you're supposed to go next, but my 22 is Carl Anthony Towns. So okay. just to just to kind of okay, roll so right into that one. Yeah, yeah. So my my 22 is Carl Anthony Towns. He averaged 24, 10, yeah. and three and a half last year. Um, I think, like I said with Rudy Gobert earlier, I think this team is going to make a, a pretty decent play, a good playoff run, depending on the matchup. Um, but I, I mean, I, I I think they could beat anybody in the West. I'm um, in a seven game series. Obviously, it's only a four game sample size, so we can't really say much. But I think, I mean, with Cat. Gobert and Anthony Edwards and even D'Lo. Um, I think they have arguably one of the better starting fives in the NBA. Um, they're very balanced. Cat is one of the better offensive bigs. Rudy Gobert is the best defensive big. Um, so I think it, it kind of complements them well. Um, but I have Cat at 22 for all the same reasons you said. And now I'll go ahead and let you say your number 22 because you should have said your number 22. 
So my 22 is is where I have Bradley Beal. Um, again, that, a guy who in a season gave you 31.3, and I think he has that ability. Uh, just a great shooter, uh, can really score from every level on the floor. Um, again, maybe empty empty numbers, uh, but when you lead the league in scoring, that should mean something. And it's not like he's doing it on 30% shooting. Um, he's a plus 45% shooter um, from the field. So, you know, I have him. This is where I have him. I have him at 22. Uh but uh, I and really not based off the numbers, but based off of the fact that he's really kind of getting whatever shots he wants to because Washington really doesn't have another weapon. OK, Edgar, who is your number 22? And my number 22 I actually had Pascal Siakam. OK, um, basically, man, um, like your dad was saying, he plays in Toronto. Toronto doesn't get a lot of love, man, but he um, I remember going into the season. A lot of people were saying, oh, they might be a playing team they might even be a damn near um out of the playing he led him to what i think a fifth seed this season yeah, so. uh, obviously i'm not it wasn't just him obviously you have fred van Vliet as well um but obviously man he got back to that all nba level um he was literally all nba third team um so he really showed like hey i'm still that guy even though last year um when i was looking at the numbers the numbers weren't really off like I think he maybe averaged like a point more. So I don't know like what the big hate was last year. Obviously there's a joke that he loves to go to his spin move in the post. And yeah, he does that a lot. Yeah. Yes, he does. He does do that <laughs> a lot. He missed a bunch of them last year or two years ago, but I think, you know, he's right where he belongs. I would say under 20, maybe potentially has the potential to go into the top 20, but I think yeah. 22 is a good spot for him. Okay, um, and Edgar, who's your twenty-one? My number twenty-one. Wait, 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 wait. Every- we all said our twenty-two. Yeah. Yes. Okay, just making sure because my dad looked at me crazy. So. <laughs> no, no, no. I was, I, I was thinking, oh, you didn't name your twenty-two, but you did. Yeah, I did, I did. So, who's your number twenty-one, Edgar? Uh, my number twenty-one plays for a brand new team this year, um, and I'm actually very excited to watch him. Donovan Mitchell. Um, that's who I have at number 21. Um, obviously, the numbers, man. This, <laughs> I have him higher as well. This guy is a bona fide bucket. Obviously, man, he can score anywhere. He's not that tall. I think he's, what, 6'2"? 6'3", 6'4"? 6'2", 6'3", around there. Yeah. But this man got athleticism. Obviously, I wish he brought it a little bit more on the defensive side. They got him I listed was, at 6'1". Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, obviously. Obviously, um, when he was with Utah, they made those great runs t- in the playoffs, but they never really made it over. And obviously, I'm not saying it was all on him. The whole team around them, outside of Rudy Gobert, did not know how to play a damn lick of defense. So, yeah. Um, obviously, I'm very excited for him and the and the Cavs. Man, they got a steal. I think that was probably the steal of the off season. So I'm excited to watch him play this year. That's for sure. So, so my concern with him is simply what you said. Uh, what is he going to bring on the defensive end? Mm. Um, obviously trying to play the two, especially with Garland, who's also 6'1". Um, yes. They have an undersized backcourt. And mm-hmm. the problem in Utah was that he didn't seem to give, always give full effort on the defensive end. So that's my I, – I, I mean, I have him higher, but that is the mm-hmm. concern with him. That's been the knock on him is is the effort on the defensive end. Who is – Dad, who is your 21? My number 21 is a guy uh, that – and I think it's just because I know the ability. Uh, but what? <laughs> we watch this other podcast, and when you say when you said uh, it's a guy, it's another dude on this podcast who who says it like that. And that's why oh. when I looked at Edgar, he smiled. But go ahead. <laughs> but uh, I I think he he's gonna he's gonna probably end up uh, much higher than this, especially if he comes back fully healthy. Uh, they're kind of bringing him along slow. But I have Kawhi Leonard here. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hit that no button. Uh, hit that no button. Yeah. That's crazy. That is yeah. wild. Yeah. That Kawhi is- at 21? So let's remember that Kawhi's missed how much time? Um, okay, really, wait, like, okay, wait, wait, really wait. most okay. of two, the last two okay. seasons. I, I Okay, I got you there. But and, and don't you, put it because Anthony Davis has played more than Kawhi. Okay, but Kawhi Leonard is significantly better than Anthony yes. Davis. Yes. I don't I don't think I don't think Kawhi Leonard is significantly better than Anthony Davis. I do not. Ain't no that. way. I Bro, there's no way you actually came out of your mouth. I don't believe, we're, I don't believe we're, we're talking about probably one of 
if not the best two-way player in no, the see, league. See, this is the thing. I think the whole Kawhi is a t- – there was a point in time where Kawhi was an amazing defensive player. I don't, think, I don't think he brings it on, on the defensive end anymore. I, I don't. Yeah, he's always I, load managing. I, well, <laughs> I don't think he brings it like he used to bring it on the defensive end. And his his offensive game is so clunky. It just you can't it, stop it though. It's so clunky looking. Again, this is where I am. I have been twenty one. And we all saw that. We all saw that ball clinking four times to go into yeah, the no, hey, a few years ago. And, and, and I give him credit. I give him credit for for things of past. Right. If we were saying legacy. Uh, he'd, he'd be much higher up on my list, right? But when I'm looking at, so let's remember that Kawhi right now is coming off the bench, right? So I'm looking at where he is this season, right? I'm not looking at the, the legacy award. If this was the legacy mm-hmm. award, Kawhi would Obviously be much be higher. There, yes. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what he's going to bring coming off of this injury, especially when you consider the fact that even right now, the Clippers are bringing him off the bench. 20, 21 is crazy. 21. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> At 21, y'all both said you're 21, right? Mm-hmm. I said mine. Okay, yes. I'm not at 21. I have Chris Paul here. Uh, yeah, I, I have, don't have Chris Paul in mine. On your list at all? No. Why are you just there? No, Chris Paul is Chris Paul is washed. I mean, your dad did say he is a non-believer in Chris Paul. So. Yeah, Chris Paul is washed. I have Chris mind. Paul at 21 here. Um it's hard to gather my thoughts because you just said Kawhi was 21. So <laughs> that's it just sounds crazy to have both them in the same breath right now. That to me is that's if we're talking legacy, Chris, Chris Paul. I'm not talking both, about they're legacy. both Hall of Famers. No, but right now, Chris Paul is not on the same level as Kawhi Leonard. I don't care Based if Kawhi Leonard what? If, I don't care if Kawhi Leonard has one and a half leg. He's better Based than Chris we Paul. haven't seen Kawhi play in th- in two years. It doesn't matter. So what are we basing this off of? It's not like you've seen him this season. He's not out there hooping. Listen, so what are we basing this off of? I'm basing it off of the knowledge of basketball. He is not the tw- something you see. He's not the 21st best player in the NBA. So, Come on. So what is some? So what did you see three years ago that makes you? He hasn't played in two years. But he okay. So. We're gonna come back to this in six months when okay. when the Clippers when the Clippers are like a top three or four seed and he's averaging twenty five seven and seven. I, I don't think he's s- ever averaged twenty five seven and seven. And he might do it this year. From the bench, he's coming off the bench. He's not gonna be on the bench the entire year. You know that. No. You and me both. Know no, that. come on now. No, no, no. He's you not gonna be on the bench. That. He's not gonna be on the bench the whole season. But there's a reason he's coming off the bench. He's coming off the bench, and he's. What is he averaging right now? He's averaging like 14, bro. He's not really. How many good. minutes has he played? I have no idea. He's only played two games. Obviously, they're bringing wait, him no, off wait, the wait, bench. Wait, 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 wait. He's only played two games. They're bringing him off the bench so he can get back. Wait, he's got to get acclimated yeah, back to game yeah, he's three. trying to get back into well, but you, he hasn't played in forever. Okay, but you cannot sit here and tell me that Kawhi Leonard, me saying this, somebody's going to clip it. Me saying I hope so. Kawhi Leonard is the 21st best player in the NBA. Hell no. 21st. We Maybe might have lower. to cut this video. Maybe lower. That's crazy, but whoa, okay. Whoa. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to number 21. That's why I have Chris Paul. Um, I have Chris Paul at 21. My number is it me for number 20 now? Is everybody in 21? Yeah. Okay, I'll just yeah, say my number 20. So my number 20 might might raise some eyebrows here. Um, reason being, this guy, I actually feel like if we did an NBA MVP kind of video he would be a dark horse for me um the only reason why i wouldn't put him up there is because he plays with another mvp candidate at mm. 20 20 i have james harden here um i think what james harden is oh. not on my list what not on my list at all that's crazy <laughs> james harden is you are wilding out james you are harden wilding is out right now and i purposely did not put james harden on my list he is washed you are wilding out right now washed have Ain't you no seen him way. in the last couple games this year? He's averaging like 32 and a half this year. James Harden. It's, it's only been three games, yes. Come and on, yeah, last, yeah, yeah. His We're last season, which is a year and a half ago, he averaged 22, 7, and 10. Yeah, so that's a decline, right? So he is declining. No, well, no, he's yeah, not. obviously he he's declining yeah, that is, from yeah, that he's is declining not. from the years he was averaging 35. Right, exactly, yes. exactly. But he's getting older. We're talking okay, about wait, a guy. Wait, wait, We're talking wait, about wait, a guy who plays no defense. That, that's for, um, literally uh, I got right I got now. somebody else on this list who don't play no damn defense. Oh, and I'm not gonna name him, but you know who it is. 
And he plays no defense. There's a top five player on this on this list that don't play no defense. Yes. We'll see, we'll see who. But yes. He, but notoriously plays no defense. Okay, but and I but, mean notoriously. It like it's known to put him in ISO and go get a bucket. The fact that okay, he didn't even make an honorable mention for you is disrespectful. No, no that's no, crazy. No, no, Jay Carter is not wild. on my list on purpose. I looked at that name and I said, no, he can't be on my list. <laughs> Who do you have at your number 20, Dad? At number 20, I have Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram is he's uh, not on my list. Okay. Yeah, Andrew, he's he's not on my your... No, he's, he's not. not better than James Harden. Brandon Ingram is better than James. Look, okay. So we're talking about if you're talking about numbers right now, look at Brandon Ingram's numbers. Brandon Ingram is hooping this year, and he's, he's been hooping. He's not the boy is legit. The boy he, is legit. He is a good basketball player. He is a he's a good basketball player, but he's not James Harden. He plays better defense than James Harden. Basketball James is Harden. on two sides of the and court. James Harden plays better offense than than Brandon. I don't Ingram. think he does. Bro, you're about, what? You're talking about James Harden from five years ago. You guys? No, I'm talking about James Harden from two years ago, nah. two seasons ago. He With averaged the twenty-two, Nets? seven, and ten. Yes, that's he those averaged. are not good numbers. Twenty-two, that's seven, and ten are that, that is great not, basketball. That, that, that's for a guy who averaged 30 in, in multiple seasons. Okay, if that's the case, nobody else on here has, has a good season. If you're comparing nah, to James, somebody who averages James 30. James Harden's not on my list. Back, but Brandon Ingram. Back, Brandon Ingram. Come on, bro. Brandon Ingram on my list, number 20. All right, Edgar, who is your number 20? My number 20, this is where I got Anthony Davis. Um, Obviously, you know, he – I mean, I'm looking at it, man. Hi, wait, 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 wait. You put Kawhi above Anthony Davis, but you're going to bump Anthony Davis for what reason? So from the reason I have Anthony Davis at 20, the man only played 40 games this year. He only played, I think, 36 <laughs> last year. So <laughs> there you just, Okay, wait. Y'all, 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 y'all flip flop with y'all. Which else? Like flip wait, wait, wait. You can't wait. use this one okay. here and then not use it here. Okay, no, I understand that. Kawhi Leonard tore his ACL. I know. That, okay. And Anthony Davis didn't. And Anthony Davis has missed more time than Kawhi Leonard. He hasn't. In the last three seasons, he's definitely missed more time than him. Uh, but they're probably neck and neck. But you're but you're and one of them had a torn ACL. But you're going to but you're going to hinder Anthony Davis. Because again. We, I think we all – would you agree, Edgar, Anthony Davis, healthy, has top top 10 talent? Yes, Definitely. easily. Okay. Easily. But you're bumping Anthony Davis down to 20, mm-hmm. but you're going to put Kawhi wherever it is you have Kawhi, and we're not going to look at his injury history. Let's okay. not I act mean, like Kawhi doesn't have an injury history too. He, he, has he, does. An, he, he does, but Kawhi has also proven that he can win a championship. Anthony Davis doesn't have a championship? No, 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 no. Does he have a championship? Yes or no? Can he lead a team to a championship? Has he proven that? Does he have uh, a championship? Uh, no, you said he, no. You said he doesn't have a championship. Kawhi Leonard Does he have a championship? he can will a team to a championship. He is a oh, proven winner. Boy, y'all go, y'all yeah. flip-flopping with, the, with these. Y'all flip-flopping. Go ahead. No, go I'm ahead. not flip-flopping. 20, Anthony no. Davis. Y'all flip-flopping. Okay, moving on. Number 19. Dad, who do you have at 19. 19, I have Jalen Brown. We already talked about why. Again, a guy who I think gives it to you on both ends of the court, right? I do agree that I don't think there's much more expansion in, in what Jalen Brown is going to show you, but a guy who plays defense and can now, and again, I don't know if he's an alpha on a team, uh, but he, I think he's a great uh one one B. Um, and, and I just I just love the energy. I love what he gives you. Edgar, who's your 19? Say something crazy, because <laughs> <laughs> At number nineteen, I have Bam. This is where I have Bam. Okay. Um, I respect. That. I think I think Bam is a top five center in the league. Um, he's definitely probably top three defensive. I would say he gives it to you on both ends, man. Um, I, when I was looking at his stats, this this stat stood out to me because I've seen him take this this shot. This man had 0% from the three-point line. And I've seen him pull up for mid-ranges, and he cashes them. And um, I remember when Jimmy first got to the team, he said anytime that Bam doesn't shoot a three, he's going to find him, you know, $100 or something. And I feel like for him to really get into maybe the top 15, he has to prove that he can shoot. Obviously, 
that's the game now. Everybody yeah. can shoot from one through five. And if Bam is able to, I'm not saying become Steph Curry, but if you're able to maybe average 35% from the three-point line, it's just a step in the right direction. Yeah. Okay, that's your number 19. Mm-hmm. I think my number 19, you guys are going to have this guy a little bit higher than me. I don't think you're going to have him much higher, um, but I think you'll have him a little, maybe five spots higher, maybe four spots higher. The reason why I have him at 19 before I save his name, I think he is – the poster child of being a Robin. Um, And I think he went and had his own team and it didn't work out. Um, I have Kyrie Irving at 19. Um, The reason why I have Kyrie Irving at 19, everybody above him on this list, I feel like has. has, Kyrie didn't make my list. I'm about to, hey, hey, (laughs) cut, cut this, cut, cut. Kyrie didn't make your list? No. Oh my God. (laughs) <laughs> and and, and it, it has nothing to do yeah. with injuries or anything. It's just <laughs> Ky- Kyrie didn't make my list. Okay, wait. You, you didn't, oh, you didn't think about him. Okay, he didn't think about him. You no, would have had him top ten, but you I, just I, didn't think about him. Yeah, I you better not have Kyrie in the top ten. You better no, not have I don't. him top ten. I, I honestly, no, I'm talking about my I don't have him in the top ten. Oh. I don't have him in the top ten. Okay, no, I, the reason. Um, let me finish what I was saying. I have, I have him way, at, way. I have him. I have him at nineteen because I feel like everybody on this list above him will either be the number one option on their team or have proven that they can be the number one option on their team consistently. So I think everybody above him can do that. Um, again, like I said, anyone from 16 to like 23 are all interchangeable. But the reason why I have him at 19 compared to the three people a- ahead of him um, is solely based off of him being able to be the ultimate Robin behind KD and behind LeBron. Obviously, he had the big shot in the in the finals with LeBron. Um, and obviously, right now, it's KD's team. He obviously handles the ball, has the highlights, but he's proven he can't be a number one option on the team. Um, not only that, he has too much stuff going on outside of basketball for me to rely on him. Wait a minute, wait a minute. but you can't hold that against his ability his ability to hoop. Again, the COVID stuff is wait, not wait, 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 from playing wait. this year. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, I understand that. But you said we can't – the outside stuff, we can't do what? Stop – Hold can't that compa- again from where he is in no, you said, this season? But you said hold him against his ability to hoop? Yeah, his ability to hoop. Because or, nothing is – Or wait, wait, ability to hoop or his availability to hoop? Nothing is stopping his availability to hoop. Okay, dude, it was L- last year. It was this year. It is not. Okay, but still, it's just too much outside noise. It's too much that goes into Kyrie Irving being on the basketball team. Again, if we're talking about basketball talent, he might be the most talented basketball player in the NBA. He, he might be. Has the he has the best handle you've ever seen. Exactly. Yeah. He could do yes. it all. But at the end of the day, when I'm looking at top players, everybody above him can either be a number one option. Have, have proven that, or I feel like will be a number one option, has more potential than him. Um, and also, I, I don't think if we're going off of a talent show, he'd be number one. But again, he definitely, definitely. it's not it's not who has the most talent. It's whoever is the top, the best players. So <laughs> that's my number 19. Have you guys named your number 19 or no? Mm-hmm. I did. I named mine. Okay. So number 18, dad, who do you have at your number 18? At 18, I got Paul George. Um, I, I think, again, just a guy who can – go get a bucket in so many ways. And honestly, I'm going to be real. If I'm the Clippers and I need a bucket late, I'm going to Paul George before I go. No, you're not. No, yes. you're not. Yes. No. If Kawhi's yes. not there, yes. No, if, no, no, no. If Kawhi is not Kawhi there. there. With Stop Kawhi. the cap. That yes. is cap. Yes. Stop. Oh, Paul, Paul George. Kawhi's one of the clutch players in the NBA. Because he hit one shot one time? No, Come on, we're, clutch we're wilding with that clutch. You must not watch. You must we're not watch wilding with that he's clutch because he hit, hit one that bucket nobody. that bounced off the rim seven times. I'm not even talking Paul about Paul George that. is a walking bucket. Uh, he's a walking mismatch. Um, he can literally do everything. Dribble. He can go in the post. He can shoot. Um, he can pass. Um, and again, the, the, the concern with him uh, has been availability. Right. I think that's the only thing that has really held Paul George back is is injuries. He's as he's gotten a little older, he's had some injury problems. Um, but he's a hooper and he's better than Kawhi. You don't even believe that statement, but <laughs> I do. Um, down, Edgar, anymore. who do you have at your number 18? At number 18, this one hurt a lot because I love watching this man. Um, obviously, I live in Oregon. And for the no, past, no, you yeah. better not, Edgar. What? You better not have him at 18. For the past 10 years. Oh, are um, you saying Dame? He can't say better. Dame. Yes, I have Damian Lillard. What are you got going on? Bro? Uh, okay, I don't have him too much yet. I don't have him. I have him much. significantly higher. I, I, I don't have, have him. Dame. I don't have him too far. I have Dame. And I think for me, the sole reason is 
he came in th- this year and he just wasn't playing. You could tell he was not playing the best. Obviously, we know who Damian so far this year. Dame has been the guy like I've always known. And like I said, this one hurt me because I've been watching this guy since he became a Blazer. So having him this low, it did hurt. But it, I think it's only because the whole injury this year. He only well, we can't talk about games. this year because this year he's been hooping. This, this past yes. season. My bad. This, this past yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, okay. Obviously, man literally had two back-to-back 41-point games already. Yeah. Um, but obviously, he will be a lot higher by the end of the year. It's just I'm kind of basing it off going into this year. That's why I have Dane this low. And this one hurt. I'll admit, this one hurt a lot. I, I respect that. My number 18 is DeMar DeRozan. I have okay. DeMar here. Um, he had a great season last year. I don't I don't think he'll be able to replicate it again, um, especially with a fully healthy team. I'm assuming Lonzo Ball comes back in a couple weeks or a couple of months. I'm not sure his, his timeline. Um, but you have Levine there now. Levine missed a lot of time last year. I do think DeMar is going to put up Similar stats. He averaged what 28, 5 and 5 last year. He might average 23, 5 and 5. I think his points will go down a little bit. Um, I do think um me and Edgar actually have a bet. We have a hundred dollar bet this year that Chicago does not make the playoffs. Um, I think that's a very easy hundred dollars, in my opinion. Um, before we carry on, Dad, do you feel like they're gonna make the, the playoffs? Uh, and if, I, if they I, make the play, if they make the play and they have to win and actually get in the playoffs. So playing doesn't yeah. count. Yes. Yeah, so when I look then they at the have East, to be a top eight seed. Uh, when I when I look at the East, yeah, I, 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 again, I don't think they're a, I don't think they're a home playoff team. I don't think they're top four. Um, but I, I think, I think the bottom of the East is a, is a, is a little weak. Uh, and I think, I think when they get a uh, ball back, uh, they got a team. I like Kobe White. Um, so I, I think, yeah, I think I would, if I was betting, I would bet that they make the playoffs. Okay, so that that's where I have Demar. I have met number eighteen. Um, okay. I kind of want to go first on this next one because I am 99% sure y'all have him above me, way above me. But the reason why I have him here again, when you get to, when you get to the number 17 spot, I did talk about how 17 and 23 could be interchangeable. This guy was definitely above everybody else strictly based off his potential, but another guy who has gotten hurt a lot. um, I have Zion Williamson here. I have Zion at at 17, uh, reason being, I think everybody above him, the next couple guys you could say he could be better than potential-wise, but again, Zion the best ability. did not make my list. There's no way, Edgar. He didn't, bro. He didn't. I, so, I, so let me I, say it. Hold on. I really want to know who's on your list that I don't have then. Because got, there's, you got some crazy people. You must have Jordan on your damn list. <laughs> and, no, I'm kidding. No, so that's the that's why I have him here. His availability now, obviously, he looks better. He looks like he cut some of the weight down. We have to see how he can last the entire season. Um, but obviously, he has so he has top three talent potential. Yeah. Um, he's one of those Anthony Davis type guys where it's the idea of Zion, the idea of Anthony Davis. I want to see it actually translate to the court. Um, so for that reason, I have him at number seventeen. Now I don't feel as bad because you don't even have him on your list. So I don't feel as bad now, but. Yeah, I, yeah, I got him up. Uh, I don't have him in the top ten, but I do have him up, uh, and I think he's one of those people that is kind of an enigma, right? You can kind of put him anywhere and really justify it based on availability, based on, and you can put him, you know, close to or top five, based on potential, right? If he plays, if he is what we've seen him to be when he's been healthy and in the league, uh, he could be a top five player, and I think he he's the guy that's probably the most fluid on this list. And can land almost anywhere. Definitely. Edgar, who's your 17? My number 17 is actually PG. This yeah, is where I have Paul George. Close. Yeah. This is where I have Paul George. Um, obviously, he came into the season really late. He only played 31 games this year. Um, but in those 31 games, man, he was really the offense, I would say, for the Clippers. Because why, why wasn't Kawhi the offense? Oh, because oh, he wasn't. She wasn't. Oh, keep, boy, I, I, I was just going, bro. Thank you. Keep going, going, bro. Obviously, <laughs> um, he's. I, was I would say. Why. I would say, damn near, he's top five two way player in the league. Um, I really, oh, okay. I really do like him a lot, man, because um, he can play both ends of the floor. When he mm-hmm. was here in OK, or when he was in OKC, he was mm-hmm. a straight bucket, and that's what he's been proven to be. 
Um, but he also brings uh, the defensive side, and that's something that I really value a lot in a lot of players. So that's that's where I have PG. Okay. okay. Who do you have at your 17, Dev? I got Jimmy Buckets. Um, I, you guys may have him. I don't know where you guys have him. Um, I, I and, and with Butler, it's not just uh, – you have him higher? Where do you, you, you don't have him at all? He's a top 10 player in my opinion. Oh, he's in no. the top Edgar, 10 where do you have him? I, I no, have no, 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 no. Okay, you don't have to say. But – Okay, I'm not I have, him. I have him on the list. Okay. okay, you do or you don't? Oh. I do. Okay, yeah. Don't make that uh, face like like you yeah. like. Why wouldn't like, I? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as I'm looking and, and and you know, I think I have a bunch of people, um, probably somewhere between eight and here that are pretty interchangeable, right? I think I have these names where they were kind of the hey, where am I slotting these guys? I love Jimmy. Um, I, the heart. Uh, the the really kind of the ability to will. Uh, teams at times. Now we we also got to mention that, that that Jimmy also has the ability to uh, explode, um, and and it caused it. He has caused himself some issues. He's been uh, put out of some teams, and the Heat actually had an issue um, when he kind of went at, at, at Spo last year. Um, so and he has that ability too. And we got to kind of take that into factor. That's the one negative on Jimmy. Uh, but he plays with so much heart um, and so, so so much grit. Um, I love his game. But yeah, this is where I have. Him. Okay. Um, everybody said they're 17, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Edgar, go ahead with your number 16. So my 16, this is where I have James Harden. I have him at 16. Um, obviously. Talk about his defense. Talk about it. Talk about him on the defense. <laughs> go ahead. Obviously, he is. Because you just the, mentioned that you like defense. He is one of the biggest defensive liabilities in the league. He has been for his whole career, basically. But, I mean, in Philly, he didn't really get to play the the whole year with them, he I think he only played like twenty something games. But I mean, throughout the year, he averaged twenty two and ten. Um, I this year he's really been on one. I will admit that. Uh, but I think um, ultimately, what does hold him back was you know the whole freaking fiasco that happened in Houston and then in Brooklyn and him being out of shape and stuff. Um, I have noticed, obviously, bro. This dude has talk that issues. talk, talk yeah. that talk. I, Go ahead, Edgar. I, I have noticed with him as he's gotten older, he doesn't have that quick lightning step he used to have a few years ago. That man was a bucket when he had that quick first step. Yeah, I remember yeah. this. Five, five years ago, you was top five. Yeah, you're right. Five, yeah, five, obviously two, now two, um, he's top he has, gone, now. he has gone a little slower, I'll admit, but um, I think this is probably the best place I can put him, especially when I was looking at my list. I had him a little higher, but then – I really thought about how other players played this season or this past year, and I was all like, I don't think he's better than that. Okay, my number 16, I have Trey Young here. Um, okay. I think Trey Young kind of fits perfectly in this spot. Again, at this point, you're you're splitting hairs uh, between guys between like 11 and, and 15, 16, 17. Um I have him here. I think he is one of the better offensive players in the NBA for obvious reasons. I mean, he's one of the better shooters. Uh, he's a phenomenal pick and roll player with uh, uh, John Collins as well as uh, what's his name, uh, Clint Capella. Capella. Um, he's a he's a phenomenal player there. Now he has Dejounte Murray, who's one of the better guards defensively um, in the NBA to kind of take away that that liability, if you'd say, um, on that end. And it, it'll it'll kind of give them a little bit more give him a little bit more explosion on the offensive end as well, because he doesn't have to worry about guarding the lead guard anymore. He never really did it to begin with, but you can kind of hide it more. Um, you can definitely hide it more now that you have arguably a defensive player of the year candidate at guard with DeJounte Murray. Um, he was obviously with the Spurs and he was the entire Spurs team. So I'm, I'm excited to see how he fits with um, the Hawks, but this is where I have uh, Trey Young at 16. Uh, I'll go. So this is where I have DeMar um, again. Mr. Mid-range, um, he just almost single-handedly brought back the mid-range game. Um, love his game, love his heart. Like you said, I, I su suspect that his numbers will go down. I don't think he's going to give you 28 again this year, uh, especially with hopefully a, a healthy Zach um, for most of the season. Uh, but again, I think he's a guy who can go get you a bucket, um, hit some clutch buckets last year. Um, you know, I, I think he is one of those guys who could. Uh, be an alpha on a on a team, especially with his ability to get his shot, get in the mid-range and knock it down. Okay, Edgar, did you say you're 16 already? Yes. Okay, I will go with my number 15 then. 
My number 15, I have Donovan Mitchell here. Um, I think there's an argument you can have him higher. Um, but as you start to get up this list, you start to get into, into talks of MVP candidates, um, arguably. Um, the next couple of guys is where you kind of hit that threshold. I mean, I, I don't think Donovan Mitchell um, will ever be an MVP candidate in the NBA. Um, now, I, I think he is. He will be a perennial all-star. I think he'll make the all-star a bunch of times. Um, but I, I don't think he'll ever be a top five player. Um, he averaged 26, four and five last year. Obviously he's going to be playing with one of the better guards in the NBA. Now a young guard that we talked about earlier, Darius Garland. So he's not going to get a lot of that, that same uh, ball time. Um, if you, if you will, um, I think his numbers are going to drop significant, significantly. Um, but I do think he's still a top 25 talent and a top 25 player. Um, we're talking about availability. I, I don't think he's, he's ever missed a significant amount of time in his career. Um, unless I'm, unless yeah. I'm tripping. No, I don't think he, he's been healthy for the most part. Yeah. Of his career. Yeah. So, I mean, he's, let me see. So he's played, I think he played like 66 this year. So 60, he played 60 something. So yeah, he played 67, 53, 69, 77, 71. So he, I mean, he's always on the floor. Um, so I have him here at 15. Dad, who was your, go ahead, Edgar, go ahead. Oh, we, I feel okay. like we always go to Edgar. So, yes. so this is where I actually have Jalen Brown. Um, I have him at 15. Um, okay. I think. Good. During that whole, um, I would say the finals run, obviously, like you were saying, um, he's never going to be the guy you make the game plan for. He, he, he wasn't the guy that um, the, the Warriors were worried about. They really weren't saying, we can't let Jalen Brown beat us. That's yeah. basically what they were saying. But I think he showed up, especially um, when, you know, the other Jay was getting defended pretty good. Um, Jalen Brown showed up and he stepped up. I think maybe – I know you were saying that this is probably his peak. I think maybe he has another level. I'm not saying what that level is going to be, but this is someone who does give it to you on both ends of the floor. Um, I think he is also one of the best two ways in the league, man. Um, so this is where I have him. Obviously, I think maybe he can be like – top 13 but obviously it's all with given time obviously yeah so 15 that's where i have trey um it, it, my concern with trey uh i think uh offensively he has all the weapons he can dribble he can shoot obviously he can get to the bucket um he's crafty around the basket uh but uh as we talked about murray coming to help him the problem is he plays no defense um he, he has to he has to be a better defender um, I think that's something he has to commit to and work on. Uh, but obviously a young talent um, can get buckets anywhere on the court, literally from the time he walks into the gym. So uh, I have him at 15. Edgar, who is your 14? So at 14, I actually have um, – I know you guys had him a little bit lower. I have Carl Anthony Towns. Um, and the, Yes, I have Carl Anthony Towns at number 14. Um, I think this year or this previous year, um, he kind of, um, I guess – showed everybody that he is the third best center in the NBA um, behind obviously two really great centers, but I think he is, he showed it this season. Um, his, he be, obviously the one thing with cat is he, he shoots a lot, but I can, I understand why, you know, he is probably one of the best shooting bigs we've ever seen. Um, the one thing about him is the defense, but you bring in someone like Rudy Gobert, who's going to help that you slide him to the floor um, and he is, he's basically a mismatch nightmare. He can take you to the post. He can take you to the corner, the top of the key, and basically give you everything that team needs offensively. Um, so this is where I have him. Obviously, you guys had him a lot lower, but I think this past year he kind of showed everybody like, hey, I'm the third best center in the league, and I want you guys to remember that. that Go ahead, Steve. Uh, my 14 is Dane. This is where I have Dane. Um, again, I think we talked about – uh, uh him i think he has amazing ability uh the question is is dame has been in portland as the lead dog for a long time but they really haven't done anything can he be a lead dog for a championship contender um i you know and maybe that's part of that is 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 the organization and the talent they put around him but portland has never been um a a, a team that market yeah, but but they they've never been a team that I've been concerned about or had in the championship contender conversation, right? And and as we talk about getting into that MVP um, conversation, P 
piece. I don't think Dame's there yet. I don't think he's a guy who's going to be in the MVP talk. And part of that is because I don't think Portland puts themselves in a position to really highlight Dame in that way. For sure. At my 14, this is where I have Devin Booker. Um, I have Devin Booker at 14. Edgar, don't make that face. Um, I have Devin Booker at 14. Uh, it's it's hard with him. I think their championship window closed. Um, and I don't I don't know if Devin Booker can be the best player on a championship team. Um, I think he could be the best player on a conference finals team. Uh, definitely, a, obviously, a best player on a playoff team. But I, when I look at the West, I don't think the Suns the Suns opportunity is there anymore. Um, I just don't. I think everybody got a lot better. Aiton doesn't even want to be there. Um, so I think, I mean, if you look at the Timberwolves, if you look at the Warriors, you look at the Clippers, um, even the Pelicans. I mean, the Pelicans are going to be really good this year. I don't. Why are you laughing? I'm about to go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah. have him on my list. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't think. I don't think he's. That I'm about close. to walk off. You're telling me, Devin Booker. You believe Devin Booker is a guy that could, because to me, Chris Paul is the alpha of that team. No, wait, 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 wait. So not, and we're we're not talking about points, right? We're talking. Who is the leader of that team? Chris Paul. So, so you're telling me Devin Booker can lead a team? To a, yes, he can lead a team. Yes. To, to where? When has he done it? He can lead a playoff team, Dad. When? When has he done it? Before Chris Paul came, Phoenix was horrible. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, so answer this question: Who is a better basketball player, Devin what? Booker or Darius Garland? Darius Garland. Who's a better basketball player? You, Devin Booker or Bam Adebayo? Oh, we're talking on the defensive end too, right? I'm talking about a better basketball Bam player. Bam Adebayo. Devin Booker is a top 25 De- Devin player. Devin Booker didn't make my list. He didn't make my list. That's he, crazy. That's, he didn't that's, that's he, crazier than anything that Edgar has said qualify. so far. He didn't qualify. Are you serious? Yeah, no. Uh, let me look. Uh, I no, want to I, I I hear his top 10 now. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. He's, I have him at number 12. I mean, at number 14. I think everybody. And you above, said this is when your list gets to MVP candidates? You're no, I said, me I said after 14 and 15. I said after 14 okay, and 15. Okay, okay. After 14 and 15 is when I would say the threshold hits. I think everybody after who I named now could realistically be putting themselves in that conversation. I don't think Devin Booker could put himself in that conversation. But to say that he's not a top 25 player is no. blasphemy. No, no, like, no, no. that's crazy to me. That's crazy. But – has everybody said they're 14? Because I, I want to keep it rolling because I want to know yeah. where who else. Yes. Okay, yeah. my 13 is Paul George. I have Paul George here at 13. Okay. I think Paul George and Devin Booker are very close, though. They're very interchangeable. Paul George is a significantly better defender um, than significantly. Devin Booker. That's why I put him above them, above him. But their offensive game is very similar. Devin Booker is a top 10 offensive player in the NBA. So the fact that you don't have him on this list is We're, we're talking about Paul George. We're talking about Paul George. Keep yes, anyways, like, like I said – Paul George right now is not the number one option on the Clippers. So I have Kawhi above him right now. Kawhi is above him. Kawhi wait, 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 wait. You can't say right, you cannot say right now and say, because right now Kawhi is not the number one option on the Clippers. You say right now, not me. Right Listen. now Kawhi comes off the bench and Paul okay. George is the number one option. Nobody true or false. Listen, that's true. He comes off the bench okay, right now. Thank you. But let me let me ask you something though, right now. Who's the best player on that team? Paul George. <laughs> how many? Oh, because we're gonna wait. talk about something that Kawhi did three years ago. No, I'm talking about his talent. He is better than Paul George. No, he's not he's better than Paul. Anyways, he's at this is where I have uh Paul George. I have Paul George at 13. Kawhi is significantly higher than him, um, where he should be, but Carry, moving on, this is why this is where I have Paul George. Last year, I think he averaged like 25 last year, I think. He averaged 24, he averaged, seven, uh, 24. 24, 7, and 6. Um, I think yeah, once okay. once Kawhi – shut up. Once Kawhi Leonard comes back, he's healthy, maybe by game 10, 15, 20. I think Paul George's numbers are going to significantly drop because he will no longer be the number one option on that team, especially in the stretch when it comes down to winning games. They're going to defer to Kawhi Leonard who is arguably one of the most clutch players in the NBA, and I'm not a Kawhi Leonard fan. So let's go ahead and make that clear right now. That's where I have Paul George at number 13. Edgar, who do you have at number 13? At number 13, this is where I have Trey Young. 
Okay. Um, okay. I think, obviously, this man is a freaking offensive weapon. If an offensive weapon, this man can basically, man, he can do everything on the offensive side of the ball. Obviously, defense. He is the worst defender I've ever seen, and I it's no it has to do with size. James Harden's the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, this year he finally has someone that can help him in the back court. Like we all talked about, Dejounte. Um, yeah. But offensively, man, he has it all. Pick and roll. That man can either shoot or he's gonna throw a lob. You don't. And the thing is, you have to stay up on him because you don't know what he's gonna do. So he's very unpredictable when it comes to the offensive side. Um, but this is he has the potential to obviously be higher. But I think 13 is like right where he belongs. Okay, Dad, who do you have at 13? 13, maybe the, I'm showing a little home team bias. I'm a Cavs fan, but this is where I have Donovan Mitchell. Um, I think we've talked about uh, Donovan and, you know, kind of what he does. Uh, again, concern on defense here. This is what I think is keeping him um, out of the top 10 because, again, I think he is a walking bucket. Uh, but, you know, I'd like to see a little bit more on the defensive end. Okay, who do you have at number 12? Me? Yes. This this is where I have Kyrie. Uh, and I think we talked about it, right? We cut out all the other stuff. Uh, I, I think really Kevin Durant and Kyrie are probably have probably the best offensive repertoires in the NBA, right? The ability to get buckets from anywhere, right? I mean, Kyrie is nasty at the rim. He has a great jumper, obviously the handles, um, his 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 ability to get buckets at any time, right? And I did, uh, and maybe if I heard the argument and the concerns about his ability to lead a team, be the alpha, maybe I would have moved him a little bit lower. But if we're just talking talent, I don't think there's a more talented player than Kyrie Irving. I agree. I, I think he's probably the most talented uh, NBA player. If we're talking about strictly off of skill. Um, Edgar, who is your number 12? All right, so right here at number 12, this is actually where I have Kawhi. Okay. I have, Ka- I have Kawhi Leonard at number 12. And it's obviously, it's because he literally missed all the last year. But, I mean, even when he played the, the year before that, this man averaged 24.8, 5.2, 6.5 rebounds. He is very consistent on the offensive end. He literally shot 50% from the field that year as well. Um, So, when healthy, he is the best two-way player in the league. No ifs, ands, or buts. I think he is the best. It's not close. It's not close. It's that, not that, close. Yeah, it's not. There is there is a much better two way player than Kawhi Leonard. But we'll talk. We'll we'll, we'll keep going down. You know what? Your, your your dad's right. Your dad's right. There is someone. Okay, else. much um, better. So I would say he's I would say he's top three. Then I would say he's definitely top three. Oh um, <laughs> but this is where I have Kawhi. Um, obviously, I can't say he he is coming off the bench right now. But that's because he's trying to gel with this new Clippers team, um, even though it's yeah, – This is back. not a new – he's been on the Clippers for five years. But, but look have, who they, they have now. They have Adam 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 Howell, Adam. They have they, John Wall. They have Rocco. They didn't have them when he was there. Okay. Go so ahead with y'all's list. Y'all he he like does have this. the ability to lead – this team is really good defensively, and I'm yeah. glad he's finally back because – I'm glad he's back. He's an, he's an easy top ten guy. Damn your top five guy, if I'm going to be honest with y'all. Easily. But yes, easily. This, this is where I have him just because of the whole not Stop. Last year. <laughs> you are so ugly, bro. Oh, my God. Okay. At number 12, this is where I have Damian Lillard. Um, I have him a lot higher than you, Edgar. Um, mm-hmm. I think this is where you hit that threshold. Or I had PG. I think PG, um, he obviously was MVP talks before. And I think mm-hmm. he could be MVP talks if he had his own team. But with Kawhi being there, I don't think he'll be an MVP talks. I don't think either of them will be just because they're going to be a two-headed monster. Um, okay. What do you have to say? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. Anyways, I think Dame, if – I mean, I don't think Portland will have a great year this year. Obviously, they start, they're starting off strong. Um, I, I actually don't have them making the playoffs. I think they'll make the play in. They'll probably lose. Um, but I think – he can he can realistically if if they, if the Portland Trailblazers were a top five or six seed that he could be in the MVP con- conversation. Um, last last season he was hurt, but we we know who he is. If we're talking about clutch buckets, he's probably the most clutch player in the NBA. He has the most clutch moments, most yes, you know so, so significant. I, 
My, my problem with, and I, I don't mind where he is on the list. My problem with the MVP conversation is this. To be a five or six seed and be in the MVP conversation, you have to do something exceptional, right? That's This you is, have to be, this is have to be Russell Westbrook, Westbrook averaging. Yeah, average, right. This is, yes. and I don't think Dame, because beyond that, beyond having some statistic that's just out of out of this, this world, you have to be a one or two seed to win the MVP. Definitely. And I don't think... I don't think Portland's a one or two seat, and I don't think Dame is going to do anything that puts him so far out of everybody else's league that you have to talk about him from the five or six seat. Okay. I'll say my number 11. Um, my number 11 is Jimmy Butler. This is where I have Jimmy Butler. Um, it, I I mean, he averaged. This, this is actually where I also have Jimmy Butler. At okay. okay, perfect. He averaged 21, six, and five and a half last year. Um, I think he found a perfect home in Miami. Um, obviously, Lowry was out a good amount of the time last year. He went to the the finals against LA in the bubble. Um, he has Bam. He has Hero, who's arguably the best six man in the NBA. When he obviously is coming off the bench, he he starts every now and then. But well, Ka- Kawhi is probably going to win six man of the year this year. All right, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Relax. Um, I mean, I I would say for me, bro. Um, the one thing with Jimmy Butler, the reason I think I have him at eleven. Um, okay. this man does not shoot a damn three point shot during the regular season, but I will say he is probably a top five player in the postseason alone. This man can literally put the team on his back type stuff. I mean, yeah. we saw it in the run in the bubble. He literally was the whole damn Miami offense for most of those games. Um, so this is where I have him. He's obviously a really great two way player, but. I kind of wish um, he gave a damn in the season, but he knows that's not his time to really care because he's waiting to get into the postseason and make that championship run. So that's really when Jimmy Butler turns up and he becomes Jimmy Buckets, I would say. Yeah. Okay, Dad, who do you have at 11? So 11, I have Zion. Um, again, this is a guy that, like I say, could have been anywhere on the list. But I think if he if he is truly healthy this year, obviously he had a year to rest. If he's truly healthy this year, um, he could be he could be a top three player by the end of the year if we redid this and moved Kawhi out of the top twenty five. Shut up, Edgar. You you actually have you don't have Zion, do you? I don't. Yeah, okay. he said he doesn't. I don't know what's crazier, not having Zion or having Kawhi Leonard at twenty something. Like I don't know which one is crazier. That's both crazy. That I don't know. That's wild. Dad, who do you have at ten? This, wait, 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 wait. Before before we go to ten, ten is where I feel like a lot of the debating is like we're at an hour and seventeen minutes. And no, I because I I think after I get past ten, as I'm listening to your two list, I think my ten is going to be different than yours. But I think nine up, we're going to have the same people. I think. Uh, I don't think my number ten is the same as your guys' number ten. No, I I, I said I know my ten is different. But yeah, I know, my I, I know none of you, none of you have named anybody in my top nine. And I assume you guys, I think it's going to everybody. I think it's going to be the order though. Now you may have somebody that I have in my top nine, number 10, um, because I think, wait, this, but who still has also, Kawhi? I still have Kawhi. Steven. You, so you, you don't have, you're, you're done with Kawhi. Mm-hmm. So that means so there's somebody, so that means there's yeah. somebody in my list that you, do, that I don't have. Yeah. But, but you may have somebody cause okay. My number 10 is Anthony Davis. Oh, okay. 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 But the rest of my my top nine will be in your top ten. Okay, that makes sense. So, do you have anything to say about Anthony Davis, or we I mean, and him? we know what it is. Again, if he's healthy, um, you know, he is again a guy who has who has a bag, who who a uh, big man. He can play in the post when he wants to. Uh, he can shoot. Uh, he can play defense. Um, he's an all defensive. Uh, top player type guy. I, I understand the injuries. Uh, I understand the concern there. Uh, but my my counter to that is we can't we can't give Kawhi credit uh, for his ability, um, and then not because I would say that I think Anthony Davis. And again, I'm only going to talk talent. I'm not going to talk. I think Anthony Davis uh, has as much talent as anybody in the league. Um, uh, again, now obviously it's put it on the court. Yeah, he has a, a bunch of ticky tack uh, games missed, but his bag to me is deeper than Kawhi's. His bag is definitely deeper. Um, this is that's, this it, that's is all where, I'm saying. This is where I had Kawhi. I had Kawhi at 10. Okay. Um, what did you have him? Edgar, you had him at 12 or 13? I had him at 12. Right okay. At. 
So I, I had Kawhi at, at 10. We already talked about him a bunch. Um, so we won't even get into that anymore. So, I feel like go ahead. Oh god. So go. Edgar, who's your 10? No, 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 because I think okay, 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 okay. Oh. Edgar, who's your 10? <laughs> I um, thought he's gonna start the Kawhi slander again. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, my 10 is D book. Okay, um, okay. This is this is where I have Devin Booker. Um, I'm a huge Devin Booker fan. Um he did have a career year in points and I think rebounds. Um, and I would say, obviously, Chris Paul is the alpha, but Thank he, you. Dev, Devin Booker's right there with him. I'm not just because there could be nights where Chris Paul has shown he has an off night, but Devin Booker's right there to literally lead that offense. Um, bro, so was, stop making that face, bro. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm just over here um, listening. <laughs> I, I damn near think he. Like Steven said, he is one of the best offensive players in the league. Um, this is this is just where I have him, obviously. You guys, um, I believe, Steven, you had him a little lower. I had him. Uh, Jax, I know you didn't I, even have him. I, I had him a list. little lower, too. I had him a yeah. little lower. <laughs> like 20, like 30th. <laughs> I had him at 14. All right. Um, has well, I, I, think like we all, I, think, I think top Edgar, nine is going to be. Edgar, go ahead with your number nine. So at number nine, I have. A mother, f- I have a highlight reel on this one. We have, I have Shaw name. Morant at have, number nine. nine. Okay, we all have him at nine. We all have him at nine. We all have him at nine. So, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, obviously, this year, all NBA second team let he for a point guard, he led the league in most points in the paint, which is very impressive. Um, obviously, you kind of wish he was a little bit more of a shooter. Um, but he can de- damn near get to the hole at any, any way he wants. Um, I think, you know, he won the most improved award, player award, but they kind of just gave it to him because there was like no other option, which is kind of kind of misleads the award. But he really showed out this season. Um, I think he led Memphis to what second seed. Yeah, yeah. Um, second seed. But damn near when he wasn't even playing, even Memphis was still a really good team. That just goes to show how good Memphis is down there. Um, this year, he's been doing pretty good so far. Obviously, he doesn't have Jaron there. Um, but he's a very exciting player to watch. Obviously, he's going to be on your Sports Center top ten every freaking week. Yeah, I, I and this is where I get into guys that I think can go get you fifty. Um, and I think Ja can walk into the gym. I think if he gets you fifty, it's not like oh he got you fifty. Um, this is a guy that can go get you fifty at any time. So I'll go with my number eight then. My number eight is Jason Tatum. Um, so that's I have where- him at eight. I don't have him any. Okay. Um, that's who I have in my number eight. I have JT. Um, I think he before last season, he would have probably hovered around that 10 to 12 spot for me. Um, but because he made that deep finals run, um, I know Jalen Brown had a had a little bit of better finals than he did. Um, but again, they they really focused him defensively as the Warriors did. Um, and I think overall Jason Tatum just he had a, I wouldn't even call it a breakout year last year because he was already really good. Um, but I think he kind of solidified, solidified himself as a top 10 player. Um, and I don't think he's reached his peak just yet. I know I said I think Jalen Brown has peaked. Um, I don't think Jalen, I mean, uh, J- Jason Tatum has though. Um, I think he has definitely the potential to get to the top five. Um, but as of right now, the people I have above him, I just give the edge. Um, but Jason Tatum is definitely on his way up. But that's who I have at uh, number eight. Yeah, I've made, I've made the only reason I don't have him higher again. If we're talking talent, I think it's there. I think he plays on both sides of the of the court. Uh, my concern is obviously in that series. Um, to me, there were points where Boston needed a bucket and he couldn't get a bucket. Um, and I think uh, to be that guy, and again, when we're talking top ten, even top ten period. You're talking about that guy. He should be that guy. Um, and, and I just need to see him go get a bucket when when the going gets tough. So before you go, Edgar. Before you go through number eight, I'm really interested to know who you have at this spot because I think I know who you have here, um, but I'm, I'm I'm interested. So so go ahead. Who do you have at eight? Before I say my eight, you want to take a shot? I, I think you're going to have no. LeBron here. I think he's going to have LeBron here as well. Yeah. This is it. exactly, yes, where no. I have LeBron. No so my, my six, my seven, and eight, I – looked at originally I would I, I'll say I had LeBron at five. I had okay. that's where I had Braun. And then I I completely missed the guy, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys. And then I was all like, oh whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> let me redo this. 
And then when I bumped in that, when I bumped in down and I looked at the two guys below him, I was like, Braun, I respect everything you've done for the game. Um, but I think these two guys are just better. They were better than you this past year. Obviously, LeBron averaged 30, and for season 19, that is absurd. Um, but this is where I have LeBron. Um, I tried not to go in with a lot of legacy on this one. This yeah. was probably one of my hardest ones because you want to throw him in there because it is LeBron James. Um, but I just think that these two other cats had a way better um, – not way – I would say they had a better season, obviously, because LeBron didn't even make the damn postseason. Um, but this is where I have LeBron at number eight. Okay. Um, Dad, who do you have at number seven? Seven, I have LeBron. Um, and – uh, listen, I am I am probably one of the world's biggest LeBron fans. Obviously, like I said, I'm a Cavs fan. Um, but I got to call a spade a spade. And his ability – I, now, I think LeBron is being hampered by uh, maybe his own, but the Lakers front office, uh, some bad GMing. I think that team around him just isn't what it should be. Uh, I love LeBron. Um, I, I But uh, when I look at the top of this list, um, and what I think is going to be the impact this year. Um, I think everybody on top of my list has a team that's going to be better uh, than him. I think every, cause I, I think the Lakers may not make the playoffs and I think they have no chance at being a championship contender. Um, every team that I have or every player, uh, their team above him, I think this upcoming season has the ability to win a championship. Okay. Um, at number seven, so now that you guys said you had LeBron here, um, I have LeBron a, a few spots higher. Okay. Um, so I'm sure at my number seven, you guys are going to raise your eyebrows. Um, I have Joel Embiid at seven. Um, oh, my goodness. The reason I have Joel Embiid at seven, out of everybody on this list that we talked about. Remember, this is the guy that liked Kawhi. Remember that. So out of everybody, but I also have Joel Embiid above Kawhi. But I don't even know why you brought Kawhi up again. I'm you just really, to, you you must really like Kawhi. Anyways, I have him here because yes, he puts up he puts up stats. He wins in the regular season, but he might be out of everybody on here in the top ten. I mean, minus Jaw, um, he hasn't really done anything for me in the postseason, and I think that's his biggest downfall is his playoff woes. Um, he he hasn't really. He, I mean, he's been he had a great team with Ben Simmons. Obviously, Ben Simmons he didn't play well, but it wasn't just on Ben Simmons. I hate the knack no. that. Yeah. It was all his fault. It was not all his fault. Joel were, Embiid yeah. played a big part. He did not show up that. in that game seven. Exactly. If he played a big part in that. So when you when you, when I'm looking at the top seven guys, all seven of these guys, well, one more, one other guy who I have a spot higher, he hasn't done a lot more than Joel, but he's proven that he can lead his team with a worse team than Joel has. And yes, Joel, he was in the MVP conversation last year, averaged 30, 12, and four. Um, so yes, he, he puts up the numbers. But when you get in the top 10, everybody puts up numbers. So numbers is not going to move me. You have to win. And not only has he not won, but he's had arguably better teams than everybody on this list besides Steph, who we haven't named. But mm -hmm. other than that, he's had a great team. So I think this year, this is my last year where I'm giving him a top 10 nod just off of stats. You have to win. Uh, making it to the second round is not enough. You need to make a finals appearance. Um, I get that Boston is good. I get that uh, Miami's good and Milwaukee's good. Milwaukee. Um, Brooklyn, I get well, that, but but, but uh, okay. So, and I, I'm I'm gonna make some assumptions, and I'm assuming we have a very similar list, right? Luca hasn't been to the to the finals. Okay, Sorry, but bumping. but but wait, Luca is way younger than him, and yeah. he has a way worse team than Joel Embiid. But no, but you said your statement was to be at this point on your list, you yes. have to win. You need to be in the finals. Exactly. But but that's not what I said. I said, as of right now, he's clinging on to a top 10 spot for me because he's put up numbers. Luka not only has progressed with numbers, but he's progressed in the playoffs as well. Last year, he was in the second round and they had a realistic, oh, they yeah. they had a realistic chance of winning that series. And yeah. and mind you, the second. Uh, best wait a minute. But I'm going to use your own words against you because you just but, said second round isn't enough. You just for Joel was, Embiid. So why is it enough for Luka? How old is Joel Embiid? I think he's 28. He's 28. And how old is how old is Luca? What is Luca? 24. Yeah, he's 23. 23. So, that, that's, a, that's a big difference. That's a big difference. And okay. again, coming into this conversation, I said I made my list based off of how you are right now as well as projecting. 
His mm-hmm. potential, Lucas project uh, potential is a, a, the best player in the league. That's his potential. He has the potential to be the number one player in the NBA. So you're telling me Luca doesn't? I mean, not Luca. Uh, Embiid doesn't have the ability to be the best player in the league. I think what we see right now with Embiid is what you're going to get. I don't think Embiid takes another giant leap. I I, I don't think so. I don't okay. think he takes another giant leap. I think as of right now, you get and that's not the that's not a knock. He's the MVP candidate. I mean, he was second in MVP. He might win the MVP this year, depending on how good or bad James Harden looks. But I mean, mm-hmm. I think all three of us can realistically say Luca may take another significant jump in his career. Okay. Right now he's at number seven. I mean, we yeah. we, yeah, yeah. we could do this possible. list in five years and he could be number one. Yeah, I don't think possible. Joel Embiid ever will be number one in his career. Now, if he was 23, 24 doing this, maybe. But the reason why I bring up the winning with Joel is because he has five seasons on Luca or four seasons on Luca. So, okay. and like I said, he's had a better team. Hey. Hey, and well, add, that to, add that to the fact Luca's playing in the West. So add that to the fact that he's playing in the West. The East just started getting good. Mm-hmm. When when Joel and B was obviously they were in the trust of process here, so I don't count that against him. I'm not going to fault him for that. But the last what three seasons, at least three to four seasons, he had a he had a really good team. I mean, when you had Jimmy Butler, I get Jimmy Butler was messing things up, all that, whatever. But you had Ben Simmons, who arguably was the best defender during that time before he started doing his off the field issue or off the uh, court issues. But if you're talking about team for team, Philly has had a great team the last three, the last three to four seasons. He hasn't even made a finals appearance. And I think that's why this year you have to at least crack the finals. I'm not saying he only has, he only has Luca by two seasons. Okay. So two seasons. So I think if you don't make, if you don't make a finals appearance by this year, I'm not going to call them empty stats, but averaging 29 or 28, 30 and 10, 30 and 12, that doesn't move me when you're constantly getting bounced out in the second round or in the conference finals. I, I need you to do more. If you're if you're an MVP candidate, you should be able to do more. I think okay. Luca will make it to the conference finals in the next two to three years. I, I think he will. Okay. Um, that's my number seven. Did you guys name your number seven or no? Yeah, yeah. We uh, I haven't named mine. Oh. Yeah. So this is where I have Joel as well. Um, oh, my. I, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not crazy. So, I mean, for me, the reason I do have him here was – um, two years ago, they made that Eastern Conference Finals run. They lost to the Hawks. And then this year, rather than either making it to the same spot or even going into the finals, they fell short, unfortunately. Uh, but we also got to – we have to remember there's a lot more outside of Joel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that obviously. That, right? You have a, a, a mm-hmm. all-star player – that wanted, chose not to play. play. Yes. Uh, you got James Harden coming over late in the season. There was a lot. There was a lot. And, and again, I'm not, if you hold it against you all, that's fine. I'm saying mm-hmm. though, you got to also remember all the factors that went into the, the demise of the 76ers yes. at the end of this season. Mm-hmm. And I took all that into factor, obviously. Um, like Steven was saying, he'll give you the stats. I mean, he damn, he led the league in freaking points this year. Yep. And I give, I give it to him. You know, he's a big man who can literally score, um, but I, th- and I think defensively he brings it as well, but I think it's like, I was expecting Philly at the beginning of the year. I will be honest. I was expecting Philly to make it to the conference finals again. This was before everything had happened. I yeah. thought, okay, they got there last year. They were literally one play away next year. Bam. They're right there. And they might even make the finals and. Obviously, stuff happened that's out of his control, so I don't blame him for what happened with Philly. But this is where I have him for right now because I think okay. these next six players are are better than him. All right. <laughs> okay. So, Edgar, who do you have here, number six? So this is where I have Jason Tatum. So obviously, um, I, like Tatum. I think with Tatum, um, he has just proven that he gets better each and this was literally his best year in the NBA. I think this is year four or five for him. Um, But obviously with him, um, he's always made the playoffs and he's always helped his team make it to the next round. Um, Obviously this year they made a finals run. They didn't win it all, but um, he has been, he has proven to be the guy for them. Obviously in the series against the Bucks, it was him versus Giannis and he damn near, was matching Giannis. I can't remember in what game, but they were going back and forth, and he kind of showed, like, I'm here. Like, I'm here as well. I And I have the potential to be much higher, but for right now, like, I want everybody to know that I am one of the top players in this league. And um, obviously in the finals, um, 
Golden State did a terrific job to stop him. Um, and obviously, I think he's just going to get better this season. He's been on fire so far. So I think he he damn near – I think if people were to say give someone the MVP, that's who they're going to give it to based off the three games he's already played because he's just been hooping this year. Okay. Dad, who do you have at six? At six, I got Luca. This is where I have Luca. Um, and again, these now we're we're probably split hairs. I, I, I also had Luca at six. This is we're probably wait, splitting hairs. Wait, wow, who did you? I thought he you just had... said seven. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. We all have Luca at six. We all have Luca at six. Okay. Yeah, I have Luca at six. All right, so then I might as well say five then. Okay, go ahead. Who's your number? So five, five I have Steph. That's where I have Steph. Step at five? Five. No. Yeah, I feel comfortable with that too. Edgar, Edgar, wait, 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 wait. wait. You have step at five. My 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 six was Tatum. So so my five, my five is Luca. My bad, sorry guys. My bad five is Luca. Okay. My five is Luca. Okay. Um, Steph at five is oh my god. Yeah, I got Steph at five. That's top five. That he he's top two. No, I don't have him. T- I have top five, and I, I, I honestly went back and forth with him and Luca. Now, what Steph does, Steph does it amazing. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, he plays no defense. He gets a lot of help. Um, I mean, listen, greatest shooter of all time, and and I and I and I will never knock him for that. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I he, he's a he's a. I don't want to call him a one trick pony because he can get to the bucket, uh, but he's horrible on defense. He's probably of this of the top where well, where I think we all said we were at about the same, the top nine. He is the worst defender. And you you know what he's the best at in the top? In the he's top the best nine? shooter. He's the best <laughs> offensive player in the top nine. Uh, I don't think he's the best offensive player. I in fact the only person I, you can argue is the seven foot behemoth, but that's he, it. That's it. Yeah. Stephen uh, Curry is. Do I think he's the easiest bucket? I think Giannis gets buckets easier. He's not a better offensive player than Stephen no, Curry. No, no, no. He doesn't. We're talking bags. I'm not saying he has okay. more more ability. I'm saying I, I'm saying he gets buckets easier. Okay. At, I, I, let me late. Wait, wait. So five is five is Steph. Five is Steph for you. Yeah. Five is Luca for you, right? You said yeah, Luca. My five is LeBron. This is where okay. I have LeBron. I have okay. LeBron at five. Um, it's I can't. It's hard for me to even talk about it just because like I ha, you have Steph so low and like it's bugging me so low. I haven't been five. That, that's you're like I gotta be no, twenty. No five. Five is crazy. <laughs> I mean, and you don't even, you and you don't even have. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, Edgar. Who do you? Where do you have Steph? No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank. I you. have him at number four. Thank that's you. Okay. where I have Steph. So I have LeBron at five. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I had him at four. Um, Who, LeBron? I had, I had LeBron, LeBron at four. four. My, my, I, he, he I can go. I can the reason why that. I had him at four is because even though they missed the playoffs last year, he's right now. He's damn near the whole offense for that damn team. <laughs> and here's the, and here's the thing. You can put him on – I'm not going to say you can put him on any team and they'll be a playoff contender. But real, I mean, because obviously you can't do it with, like, the Magic. I mean, even maybe even the Magic. You can't honestly. do it with the Lakers. You can't – I mean, my they're, problem but with him a playoff team, though. My That's problem right. with him is simply this is, and, and, and maybe it's recency bias, right? Maybe it is me comparing LeBron against LeBron because I've seen LeBron carry a team to the finals, carry no talent to the finals, right? And again, this is year twenty, LeBron, but I I have to bump him down because you, you're not carrying this. This what the Lakers are what zero and three. You're not carrying this team to wins. Now, again, this is a horrible design roster. Mm-hmm. And LeBron is at the point in his career where he needs help. But I seen, I seen LeBron, young LeBron, need no help. And again, maybe it's an unfair comparison. I'm comparing it mm-hmm. against himself. But he he the, his inability to win with his team tells me a lot about the let me just say. Because it doesn't look necessarily it in terms of numbers, but it's diminishment and impact, right? He 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 can't will a team anymore. He can't just hey everybody jump on my back and I will take you single handedly to the finals. He can't do that anymore. And again, that's fair. He's in year twenty. He shouldn't have to, but he can't okay. do that anymore. 
And I, I think I think one thing, obviously, the whole narrative around Braun has always been, oh, if LeBron's on your team, you're an instant playoff contender. That was kind of – that's always been the narrative around LeBron. Um, and obviously, he's gotten older. The injuries are starting to obviously come through. LeBron has been an Ironman for a lot of his career. Um, his time in L.A., he has gotten injured. Um so I, I see why you have him at five, bro. I'm, and I'm not knocking you for it. You know, I had him at eight. Um, and obviously, I think it is very hard because, when, like you said, when you compare LeBron, you're going to compare him to LeBron. Um, and we've seen him take team. We saw him take a team that had nothing in the Cavaliers back in 07 to the damn finals. And yeah. I think that's where our – that's what Multiple we expect from LeBron. Teams. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what we expect from LeBron every year. But I've seen LeBron put up damn near 40 points and they still lose. And that's yeah. not that's not his fault. It's just this team is poorly constructed and he needs help at the age that he is. Okay, Edgar, you said you had who had I had Steph right here. Okay, so you had Steph at four. Mm-hmm. I got Jokic at four. I have KD oh. at four. Okay. This, I have KD oh, at four. Okay. You got to um, explain that one. But wait, 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 wait. You are telling me that you believe in Steph's ability to lead a team, lead a team, be the guy on a team or single handedly, right? Because, because what we got to, what we have to talk about is Steph has had an incredible amount of help his whole career. You can't do that. He's got one of the that. best supporting cast. You can't do that, though. Do you, you think can't do that. You have to, but no. because we okay. have to project. So think about it this way. That's like saying if you put Trey Young there, Trey Young is doing what Steph does. That's not the case. No, I Steph mean, still has to knows? do what Steph does. Steph is a hooper. I'm not – Steph is – he's top, top the, five. Okay, but, but you're telling the, me that he's a better talent than KD? Right now I'm taking Steph over KD. Right now. Based based off of – I'm going to tell you what I'm basing it off of. Please. Based off the, Based on the fact that Steph has won without KD. KD has not won without Steph. It's that simple. Well, okay. Well, we okay. Okay. It's that but simple. It's that this, simple. When we say this, we're talking about Steph is playing with at least two other Hall of Famers, right? He, he another is. another top. Uh, again, as I looked at my list, as I looked at the list, right? There's some people I, I just I didn't put I didn't I didn't put Draymond on my list, right? But did I consider Clay? Did I consider Draymond Poole? I mean, uh, Jordan Poole. Uh, is Wiggins probably if we went 50 60 is Wiggins probably there so you're yes. talking you so when we say without KD let's not okay. make it seem like it, it's butt naked over there okay but but my point is KD played with Westbrook couldn't get the job done with the good OKC team he couldn't get the job done so, so Steph played with Westbrook and got it done no, no let me didn't. explain okay. He, okay. he's playing with Kyrie Irving couldn't get the job done has not got the job done up until this point so in, okay. until KD shows that he can be that guy without another MVP type player. I mean, obviously Westbrook was was an MVP during that time, but Steph was an MVP before Kevin Durant went over there. So Kevin Durant left because he knew he would never be the face of that team. He would never be the face of that team. Okay, let's hold on. Let's hold on. Let's pause on it. The KD was was with Golden State for two finals, two finals wins. Yes, right. Yes. He, you're telling me he was not the alpha on that team. He was no, on the team with the, who 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 won I, both of those I, finals MVPs? I, I would say it was uh, Iguodala got one over Steph. I would say they were right down there. Iguodala got one over Steph. Was, yeah, because Steph had a bad finals. KD did a not bad have, finals. The finals where Iguodala won one. No, he did not have a bad. What what do you consider? It wasn't great. I'm not saying okay. Let me not say it was 13 points, but it wasn't. It wasn't some oh let's blow. He blew everybody else away. He should have got the NBA Finals MVP during that season. No, LeBron should have won the Finals MVP that season. He didn't. But he didn't again, win. anyways, Le- LeBron has like 37. I have KD LeBron had a crazy nine. Year. I yeah. have KD at four because he has never won a championship without Stephen Curry. He's never won. Stephen Curry has proven that he could do that without Michael Kevin Jordan. Durant. Has never won a championship without Scottie Pippen. So, oh, oh, is Scottie Pippen? Is, is, okay, wait. Is Scottie Pippen an MVP player? Is he MVP? Has he ever won MVP? That, that does, so you say you're knocking KD down? Who again? We all no 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 no, KD, no 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 wait wait I'm not knocking him down. I'm putting Steph up 
because of this year. Be, but Before this season, played, I'd have KD above him. But they played two seasons together where yes. they went to the finals, and KD yes. was clearly the finals MVP. Like it wasn't like it oh. wasn't a oh shit, should we? It's one a one. It was clearly okay. KD. So so he was the finals MVP. Clearly, this year, this year who was the finals MVP? After his four finals win, he finally gets one. How many? How many finals wins? Four. He got four. I'm, I give. I respect four. four. KD has two. Okay. And KD has, has two, two finals MVPs. How many? And, and Steph has two finals uh, championships without Kevin Durant. Okay. How many finals MVPs does he have? And he's been to the finals two yeah, more yeah. times. How many finals MVPs does he have? So, 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 so a guy, so a guy who has been to the finals four times, but won finals MVP once. That would tell me he's not the fucking alpha. That has nothing to do with name, he's name alpha. any other great player with multiple championships that did that did not win 50% of the finals MVPs. And the only person you're gonna say is Kobe, and that's because Kobe played with Shaq. Okay, but that's that's not the argument. I'm talking about right now, I'm taking Steph over Kevin Durant based off of what Steph has done. KD has not won a championship without him. That is a fact. That's okay, a fact. That is- that is that you can't you can't dispute that. That is a black and white statement. So until Kevin Durant takes Brooklyn to the make it to the finals, just make it there. Just at least go. So uh, you're telling me that you believe if you take Steph off Golden State and KD off Brooklyn, that Brooklyn has as good of a supporting cast as Golden State. No. I don't believe. Oh, that. oh, okay. So then you're comparing apples to oranges. No, I'm not. I'm not comparing. I'm I'm comparing how good of a. So you're you putting your parameter because do you believe that if you put KD on Golden State, that team's not a a, a championship team? They play two different positions. It wouldn't even work. So you it would work. It would no. work. So if you put Steph on on the damn Nets, they have I didn't, two I didn't point put guards. Steph on the Nets. But and if, if you put me, okay, so what position? What position is is KD going to play on the Warriors? Small forward. You move Wiggins to the two. Wiggins is not playing the two. Okay, and and, and who's gonna run the point? Jordan Poole and Clay's gonna come Poole. off the bench. Yeah, because KD can run the point. So now he's gonna run done. the point bar. So now he's gonna run the point. KD has brought the ball up before. It's that's not, not like it's it's not, it's, so not like it's guys. Draymond yeah, Green. Draymond Green or Draymond ball. Green can play the point. So all these there guys are coming off the bench. What guys? Clay, Clay, Clay can come off the bench now. Clay. He's coming off the bench now because he's coming off of injury. That's why he's coming off the bench. I'm saying he I said he could. He could. But I think doesn't. I think I think at the end of the day, Jordan Poole right now, and again, this is right now is a better player than Clay. Would you disagree? No. Okay, so all I'm saying is, but he's not a better fit. That's why. Clay's no, no, gone. I mean, fit, fits matter. Fits matter again. There. So if fits matter. Why are we even hypothetically moving one person to another team? Durant is a better player than, than Steph. But go ahead. I, I no, no, no. I I think he's a better basketball player than Steph. I do believe that. I think yeah. he's a, he's more talented. He has a better offensive game height wise, being able to score in the post, all that. I think he's a better defender. But I think right now, Steph is higher than him based off of what he's done. And it's not like he just fell off a cliff. Steph is still going to have a great season this Steph's year. He's a hooper. Yeah. He's a hooper. He's, 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 arguably, he's going to get the one or two seed. And yeah, Brooklyn they, they, may mess around. That's be a, a better team. team. And Brooklyn might be a playing team. That's a fact. I know. That is a fact. I mean, because, I'm not, nothing you said I'm disagreeing with, except for the disagree- fact that Steph is better than Kevin Durant. Right now. Unless better- you're just saying, because if we're saying that based off of, so are we now then basing this off team success? No. So our, our, our ones and twos should be the two teams that we think go to the finals? No, that's that's not what I said. Because if that's the case, a lot of, I mean, Jokic would be higher on this list or it would be lower on this list. Then you'd have I agree. LeBron. LeBron would be because higher. All you're telling me, you're telling me I'm basing Steph off the fact that I expect Golden State to have success. I agree. Golden State is going to be a better no, team than Brooklyn. But the, but the, the thing is, but I don't think be, Steph is going to be better than Kevin Durant. On Based off his numbers or based off of what? Based off of whatever you want to base it off of, except for three pointers made. So, okay. Anyways, he just won the championship. He was the Respect. finals MVP. No, 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 he was no. The... Go to state won the, won the championship. You're right. He won the finals MVP. That's what he won. Okay. He, he, won he, he has that back at the crib. Durant right. has two of them. That's fine. And Two, uh, two is and, double the amount of one. No, no, no. He doesn't is, have four. He has, he has four. He has one. He has, but he has four championships. No, no, no. Golden State has four championships. So Robert when, Ory has seven. Okay, but how many, how many, championships, how many championships does Steph Curry have? Four. Robert Ory has seven. 
Okay. How many does Kevin Durant have? So Robert Robert Ory is better than. Does than, Robert Ory have Michael an Jordan? MVP? Does Robert Ory have an MVP? <laughs> Steph barely got one. He was unanimous. He was a unanimous MVP. <laughs> How is that barely? He's the only he unanimous one. MVP Wait, ever. Fourth try, I guess. Fourth try. Uh, anyways, fourth moving try. on to number three. Katie got two. A, and he, two he's two. Not, he was he's unanimous. Two he's two for two. He was unanimous. I don't, know, I, I don't know if he was unanimous. He probably was one of those times. Stephen Curry was unanimous MVP in the I regular respect, season. Respect to, to Stephen Curry. Unanimous. But, and he's MVP. higher than and he's higher than KD on my list. We'll, we'll get there. Have y'all all, have y'all all named on your number four? Uh yeah, I say Jokic. Yeah. My number three is Jokic. That's where I have Jokic. So I have, I, have gotta make it. I got KD at number three. Okay. Number number three, I have him beat. That's where I have him beat. So you're wait, am I tripping? No, 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 I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. I thought I was missing somebody or you're missing somebody. Okay, no, we I, all... at number three, I have I have Jokic. Um okay. am, do I have him the lowest out of everyone? Or nope. have, have, have I, everybody said have everybody I said Jokic you're, you're, you're four. I Jokic at four. Four, yeah. And Edgar hasn't named him yet. Okay, so I have Jokic at three. Um, the reason why I have him higher than Embiid by a few spots is because he proved that he can win without his next two best options. I respect it. He was a six seed. Um, he ran into a juggernaut against the Warriors without his two best options. But like I said, I think if 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 we're gonna, we, you can't. I knock Embiid for not being able to win without. I mean, with having good talent, Jokic has shown that he can win with his talent gone. So I think now that, but, but, but okay, this is the problem. And again, this is where I say there's, there's some unfair expectation, right? Because we're saying Jokic won. Jokic didn't go to the, to the finals. He did. He make it to the playoffs and respect, right? Jokic, I think Jokic is a hooper. Um, and again, I think we're splitting hairs with any of these guys. But Jokic didn't go to the finals he, because he you're saying Jokic is right now and beat his finals or bust. But we're not putting that but, same. But the reason why I'm saying he's finals or bust is because he's had a complete team for a while. Denver, the Denver Nuggets have just became their team. I mean, you got to look. They just got Bones Highland. Michael Porter Jr. was drafted two, maybe years three, ago. three two, years three ago. Years ago yeah. He was out like the whole year. Jamal Murray just tore his ACL. They yeah. haven't really been completely healthy besides that bubble run. Oh, I don't know where he went. Um. I'm going to have to reinvite him. But they haven't really been completely healthy since that bubble run. Actually, I think his computer died. I'm pretty sure his computer died because I saw him went to just go grab his charger. Um, okay. But that's where I have um, – he, he got the text in his, his top two. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming his top two is Jokic and then Giannis. That's what I would assume because he okay, named yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but So but what's your he, top two? My number two is Steph, and then I have Giannis. So I go, I go Durant, Giannis. I mean, that's fine. I think, I mean, I, I could see your argument with having Durant there, but I can also see the argument of having Jokic there, and I can also see the argument no, of having Steph I'm not there. knocking Jokic. Like I said, but again, but my only thing with Jokic is I think there's an unfair standard being put on Embiid because we're saying Embiid needs to win. Well, I, I okay, so cool because Jokic has his whole team now. So why is it not right now Jokic needs to win? Because Jokic – a guy who has back-to-back MVPs has not been – I don't I don't even know if he's been – has not been the Western Conference representative. A guy with two MVPs. He's never been to the finals. But yeah, he, that's what I'm saying. But I, I believe he lost in the Western Conference finals. Yeah, well, I said he's never been the Western Conference rep- representative. He's never been the Western Conference final representative in the finals. So this is a guy who – so right now he has his whole team. So why are we yeah. not saying – Hey, for Jokic to k- continue to hold this spot, again, we're talking about for all of us a top three, top four spot that he needs to win, right? Because everybody else on this list has won. Giannis has a championship. Durant has a championship. Wherever we have Steph, Steph has a championship, so, right? I mean, I think so the there's reason- two people really in our top five that don't have a championship. In B, but, so that's fine, but then let's put the same standard on Jokic. But here's the difference. With Embiid, the Sixers have not had a career-ending injury. I mean, not, I'm sorry, season-ending injury. They haven't had that. So okay. I'm 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 cool. But if all of those guys are back, okay. But that's back, but that's this Murray's is gonna be the back. first. This is gonna be the first season of true healthy Nuggets. 
That's my point. They've had the Sixers have had real healthy seasons. Maybe no, three but of them. If we because we can go back three years ago. This Sixers team has 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 is completely different. Yeah, Literally but they but different. they're not. They're now, not some missing, of that is their own. They're not missing the number two option though. They're not missing. I mean, you got Jamal Murray was an honorable mention on my list, and he missed the entire year. Yeah, no, I, and, and but again, remember if we if we go back to the beginning of last oh, year. Oh, he's here. He's here. He's here. If we go back to the beginning of last year and say. Who is the Sixers' number two option? The beginning of last year, we're saying Ben Simmons. Or Tobias Harris. Okay, if you said offense. But who is the number? If they were playing NBA jams, who are the two players that are coming off the Sixers? You're saying MB and and uh, Ben Simmons last year. Obviously, that completely changed. Right. So again, all I'm saying is hold Jokic to the same to the same standard. This year for Jokic should be win or bust. Oh, I, or, I don't. Again, especially a guy who's won back to back MVPs but never been to a conference finals. I mean, never had, been no, to a finals. never been to a finals as the conference champion. But I, I think I think the difference between Jokic and and um and Bede is Jokic does have those two MVPs though. That's why. It, so it should, so we should be holding him to a higher standard. Oh no, but my but again, they he, they haven't been healthy, so it's it's hard to say they should be in the finals when they okay, haven't. Okay, but been we healthy. can say but we can say the same. Ben Simmons wasn't healthy last. He played no games. He, he no, you're right. Last year, but what about the year before that and the year before that? That's my point. They they were good. Oh, okay, since what but, since 2019? But two years ago, Jamal Murray played. But Michael Porter Jr. did not. When did Michael Jordan? Michael Porter Jr. didn't play last year. He played the year before that. No, year. he he didn't. No, he had a year where he was injured. You sound was it, that was, was it last year? Your, your, your AirPods are messed up, but um, I think it was either last year or the year before. I'm gonna I thought it right was now. last year. I thought he was hurt. I thought him and Jamal Murray were hurt last year. No, so in twenty in twenty. 20 or 2019, he played 55 games. In 2020, he played 61. Last year, he played nine. So he missed all of last year and he missed parts yeah. of both of the other years. When his rookie year, his rookie year, he had the back problem. He didn't play. He barely played. Right. His rookie year. And uh, Jamal. I mean, so two years ago, for most of the season, he had Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. Correct. That was the bubble year. And they made it to the Western Conference Finals. Yeah, but they didn't make it to the final. You said in B, they to lost go to the won. finals. Yeah, but okay, but that's my point. So they had one real year of true health, and they made it to the Western Conference Finals. Okay, but again, when we look at this Sixers team, we're talking about a whole new team. He got in. He got uh, Harden in the middle of last year. He got I, Harden I, late, late last year. And I agree, but if so, if Harden was coming off some injury riddled season where he coming off a torn ACL or something of that nature, then I could say, okay, this is not championship or bust, but. Again, Philadelphia has been an Eastern Conference favorite for the last what three seasons? They've been a favorite to come out the East. The Nuggets have not been. I don't a know favorite. if I call them a favorite, especially They've when you're talking about Giannis. I would They've say been, a favorite. They, they, they well, I mean, if I if I said, are they one of the top teams? Yeah, but top. I think I think last year going into last year, I thought Milwaukee was the team. I think the year, and again, obviously a lot of injuries and things like that, and then Boston. I thought Boston was a good team, um, but the year before that, I thought it was going to be Milwaukee. I think Milwaukee has been the favorite. I don't think I've ever looked and said, I think the 70, again, if we said, hey, name the top two or three teams, yes. But I don't think I've ever looked at a season and said, Sixers are the favorite or the favorite to come out of the East. But I, I think in in the East, you have you have Boston, Milwaukee, and Philly. Obviously, Brooklyn, um, Kyrie wasn't playing, yeah. so we didn't really count them. But you had those three. In the West, the last Miami. Games, don't forget Miami. And, uh, and Miami. And Miami. And Miami. Yeah. But in the West, you had Phoenix, who had their little two-year span. You have right. the Warriors. You had the Lakers when they won the championship. Um, and then you had the, Clip, uh, Clippers. the Clippers before they uh before Kawhi started getting in. The Clippers haven't really and again, this is no but they were still they were not going back on the Kawhi thing. But but since since Kawhi and PG have been there, they haven't really that hasn't really panned out. Let's just be I mean, honest. Right. I, no, but I'm, I, I'm saying been, going I'm, into the season, though. I'm saying going I mean, into the season, I, yeah. they were a favorite. Yeah. I mean, I would say um, if Kawhi doesn't go down two years ago in the playoffs, they're beating Phoenix to make it to the finals. I mean, it's hard to say, but okay. But, Edgar, you kind of cut out, but I'm assuming who who's your number two and number one? We already said ours while you were gone. So my, my number two is Jokic, and my number one is Giannis. Okay, so we so, all have Giannis number one. Okay. Yes. Well, 
Okay. Well, who, and who then was I, your I had Dur- number two? I had Durant too, and okay, I had Steph then, too. Okay. Okay. Um. But I mean that that kind of rounds out the top twenty five. This was a two hour video. Um, this was good though. But I mean, I had fun. Uh, it was fun for sure. I I definitely think we need to reevaluate at the yeah. end of the year. I think that'll be fun as hell. You we know, should maybe do it like All Star break and then end of the year. Oh, that would be no, pretty for fun. sure. Because um, I think All Star break. I think I, because again, I I think there's a lot of people in my list, both not on my list and in my list that I think can move, right? Like I said, I think Zion could be easily could move up. I think some people can move down. Um, you know, I think LeBron has the ability to possibly move down, especially if things keep going with the Lakers as they, as they do, maybe, maybe, uh, and again, no knocking, I'm not trying to be funny, but maybe Kawhi validates where he's supposed to be or where you guys have him on the list, you know, versus where, <laughs> why are you looking like that? You know, versus, who else, you know, who else may validate themselves? Oh my God. Kevin Durant. No, okay. Who else? Who, who's I gonna and say? Because you started laughing. That no, was who's it. I gonna Devin. say? Who, no, no, I'm not talking about Steph. I'm not talking about Steph. Who, who do you think? Who do you think? Who are you gonna say? Devin Booker? Yes, Devin Booker. Okay, we'll see. Hey, hey, hey maybe, maybe in this we're all. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, and maybe I come back and eat crow and say, "Hey, man, that boy Devin Booker." Woo! I don't think I've ever. You know, because we talk about this like this is some travesty that I don't have Devin Booker on my list. And again, that was that was done on purpose. That, that was that was not a, a miss. I'm but are we t- you think that's a you think Devin Booker's an MVP candidate? No, I don't. Oh, okay. So that automatically moves him probably out of the top ten. But yes. I, I would and say I had him at fourteen. I had him at fourteen. I would say he's the best shooting guard in the league. I would easily say would I say he's the best shooting guard in the league. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta come back to that. I, well, I don't have I, I don't have him. Well, because I, I, I had other shooting guards ahead of him. Mm-hmm. I, I, I had Mitchell ahead of him. Not in Mitchell. I have them one spot apart. I have them Booker one spot ahead of him. Uh, I got Jimmy Butler ahead of him. I think I, again, he plays I like think, a three, though. Yeah, I'm Jimmy's like, a three. Okay. Um, I, but I then mean, obviously there's Bradley Beal. There's, there's, Brad, there's, I have Bill there's a lot of him. good shooting guards, obviously. But Jay, I, uh, Jay I would, Brown is kind he, of a weird conundrum. And I think some of these yeah. guys, you just get into like wings, right? Because I think Jalen yeah. Brown. While he may, we may classify him as a two. He kind of plays the wing because he'll mm-hmm. he'll guard small forwards. All righty, well, that is going to round out a uh, clash of cultures top twenty five with mm-hmm. guest appearance by Edgar. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. There, there was some hot takes in here. We're going to come back to this sometime in the near future to do this again. Um, again, we're going to drop a a top twenty five probably NFL football players. We're going to have another guest on the show. You probably got so Kawhi on, on that list that. too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but be on the lookout for that. But until then, we will catch you guys next week with another uh, another video. Peace out, guys. All right. Peace out, guys.